Hello! Hi! Hello! 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 How is everybody? Hey. Do you like the the new digs? The 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 the, the red background? Because it's staying for at least one game. <laughs> oh, that's red? Yeah, it's red. I made it all red. Yeah. It looks brown. Shut up. <laughs> brown. Fine, I'll fix it. <laughs> yeah, he's brown. <laughs> he's doing it live. I'm doing it. Here I go. Uh, but, 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 but yeah, hello, everybody. How about that? Is that brown enough for you? Or no, red enough for you? That one? Is that one you like? There you go. Okay. <laughs> I'll have to change the other one when we get to it, too. But hello we're we're here playing some zelda uh we're in a we're in a pretty fun spot i was telling uh i was telling the people um before game before we even had the stream that if we hadn't had talked about it amongst all of ourselves at one point that we are in a point we are in a position that was normally supposed to be the end of the campaign <laughs> if we kept the original idea for for how long the game was going to go we are about four games off of what the end of the campaign would have been. <laughs> well, shit. Damn. But we talked about things uh, like uh, several months back, and we still have one little, we still have one arc left, so we're, we're good. Everything's fine. Still doing things. <laughs> Yay! Still got so we're many still things on to do. schedule. On schedule, definitely. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> but yes, uh, we are going to make our way into the room. Uh, we are going to see who wants to tell us what happened last time. And, uh, mm -hmm. we have a lot to get through today. It's going to be interesting. Here we go. I should have made the, the dice right. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we're in the room. Uh, right now, before we move on, before we talk about things, uh, there are a couple of new things in the room. First off, I moved a bunch of the things in the middle here. And put all of your guys' things in, right here in the center of your table. That way you guys always know what you have. Uh, and it's, it's, it's just all right here in the way. Um, uh, we also have a little gallon nook I made over here. All of his things are tinier because I didn't want to take up too much space. But now if we ever want to know what gallon can do or what his things are. I just threw his stats wherever. If, um, uh, if, if those are wrong, who cares? But also if you guys want to mess with them, you can. I don't care. Um... <laughs> But uh, there is there is where uh, where most of the gallon <coughs> stuff is, uh, as well as some of the items that he has on him. If you guys ever wanted to use any of those or do anything, um, we also have Kartani's will, finally in the game, which was originally called Kartani's Hound Song, or Hound Song. I keep wanting to say Hound Song. I don't know why. Um, but the Hound Song of Kartani, the party is motivated to surpass their limits. It costs all remaining AP. Uh, so the person who activates this, all of their AP goes into this. Uh, the howl echoes throughout the battlefield, causing those who are hostile, uh, those you are hostile with to lose one action during the next turn and lower their AC by the amount of AP used until the end of the user's next turn. So you can use this. Let's say uh, Ronan uses this, uses like all of their AP. And then next round, when the, their turn comes again, their AP, their, uh, their AC is still going to be lowered until the end of Ronan's turn. So Ronan can then go all ha go all wild on them in the next turn with all their lowered ac fuck yeah uh so that's pretty fun um they also uh the party gains one ac for every ap used to be given out to whoever they wish until the end of the battle so let's say ronan uses six ap to use this thing because of the extra ap or whatever that means you guys would have six ap or six ac to give out to yourselves or to anybody you're wanting to protect so if you had someone like uh, Argo with you, it's like Argo gain six AP AC. Like <laughs> just don't get or hit. Or I could give Polo and Marco three AC each. Yes. Kind of thing. Yes. Hell yeah. Which is pretty cool. Um, the main party, which is you guys, just the four of you, uh, gain a reaction mm. attack that can be used as soon as this card is used. And if that attack hits, which is just using whatever <laughs> normal attack thing you would use, it deals one D twenty damage in addition to the other <laughs> effects of that attack. The reaction can also be used to use any other cards or items that you have instead. So if you don't want to do the damage, but you have like, uh, you want to like use the heat lantern, you could do that instead if you wish. It's pretty fun. It's a pretty good one. It doesn't have nearly as much damage as Gora's Fury, but it does a lot of cool things. 
It does a lot of shit. I love how it increases AC and Cortani is an exiled Dark Nut who doesn't have armor. <laughs> well, that's the cool thing. Whenever whenever Dark Nuts get out of their armor, they technically have more AC. Get more AC, yeah. <laughs> Karatani was an actual hurricane of death. I love that I've made it to where the Dark Nuts slash the Donu are literally just so stupid that they're nerfed. They're literally themselves. that fucking dude from One Punch Man who was like, my armor is a limiter. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they don't know that. They're like, no, my armor is what makes me. <laughs> yeah. And then that comes off and they're like, damn. Donu. Then that comes off like, damn, I'm terrible now. Proceeds to like triple backflip. <laughs> <laughs> um we also have if we look over here where Ronin is we have uh Obra spell info yeah, we're finally yeah. able to go over everything I showed this to Eric beforehand these are all the different things that Obra's spells can do that are different uh than what uh, uh Ronin does with them uh I also increased a few of them oh damn we went into a different song I also increased a few of them uh to different things so that uh to make up for the uh to make up for the um uh po essence that they used uh to give them so now there's a couple of things in here where they can go kind of intangible which is pretty fun um, yeah. and they can now levitate uh on themselves without using any, any magic which is pretty cool <laughs> nice uh i love how i had to put in the center here she usually will not do the following, but it's a cool thing to be aware of. <laughs> which is literally just if she only targets herself with things like let's say the 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 uh the teleporty thing that you have, uh like the far step, she could literally get like it becomes it goes from misty step to dimension door. Yeah, like, she can literally dimension door herself out. She will never do that because she's never gonna leave you, but <laughs> she could. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> There are some situations where it might happen, just not the ones where it would lead to abandoning the party. Exactly, exactly. Uh, also, I just like giving them Fabricate. Fabricate's fun. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's so, like, situational, but it's yeah. great. <laughs> but yeah, all these all these different things are what uh, she does a little bit differently. Uh, her River Zora magic uh, can uh, target two people instead of one, which is fun. And also, she can change whatever uh, damage she wants from it, so she can make her... Her little River Zora fireball, instead of being fire, she can make it ice. Ice ball. Wachow. Mm. That basically makes up for her not having actual, like, magician spells. Uh, like what Galen has, like with the um, uh, with the uh, wind burst and liquid burst and stuff like that. Mm. She doesn't have <laughs> those spells because River Zora don't learn those spells. Okay. Yeah, she has a bunch of little little cool things and she does a little bit extra damage with them as well really fun really good uh she is still mm. limited by the amount of uh action she ends up getting in the turns but uh she's really fun real good um yeah. i think that's the only thing other than the last thing i put on there which is of course the silver gauntlets they are plus one they give you strength uh they give you strength equal to half your max so we see over here you have these extra two little ones right here uh which make your strength up to six yeah uh, and with that being said as well, they also give you back your overwhelm. Yeah, now I you can hit. hit. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, we still haven't talked about what you're planning on doing with the blessing of fairies. We'll get back to that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that. I definitely, I definitely didn't do that poorly before I got gauntlets. Like it's just <laughs> weirdly once I lost them, it's just I became trash. Well, it's also back then things did not have the AC they have now. That's also true, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. the extra plus one and plus two would have got you so many hits last round. <laughs> But uh, now that you have your silver gauntlets, they actually have a plus one on them, which your uh, original gauntlets did not have. So instead of hitting with plus ones, now the way the system works, because the system always works if, if there is something there, you automatically get a plus one. Uh, so you'll be hitting with plus twos now, which is pretty cool. Yay. And that counts for attacks and damage. Whee? Very good, very good. Very fun. We've done it. Everything good. Mm. With this, with this now very chill music in the background, does anybody want to volunteer to tell me what happened last time? Uh, Go we ahead, found <laughs> some bacablins. You did find the bacablins. Um, and we were, and we were, they had some little little keys, 
and and then we we I, Ronan was like, I'm gonna play a little ditty, and I'm gonna pull the pull the keys over here, and I'm give him give him a keys with my fists. <laughs> Get him a little feast, keys. <laughs> keys. Uh, while heck and Polo just two shotted the fucking the hobby cablin. Uh, the the the, sp- the spray painted bacon. <laughs> uh, and uh, they yeah, just call them they... blue bacoblins like they do in fucking uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, uh, blue coblins. They're hobgoblins. Fucking, and then Marco and Gorthos <laughs> took out the the two other bacoblins. Um, they were never the fight. <laughs> no, never. Uh, and then then we found uh, found our friend Anna, who is not to be confused with Anna, who is playing polo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we heckin. Uh, she was like, I'm looking for my backpack because it has big old gauntlets in it and other stuff that is important. And we were like, we'll help you get that back. Uh, and she's like, cool. A giant fucking moblin made of rocks took it. Uh, and we were like, okay. Fuck. <laughs> um, so we were, we were like, alright, let's set some traps. And we did because it left its you weapon around. You guys got around, to use so your like, bombs! Let's booby trap the weapon. So we put down a fuck ton of bombs, uh, and just it lie in wait in the woods to, for it to come along, uh, and it did. And then it got blowed up, and then it was like still alive. Can I tell you something uh, upsetting that you're gonna hate? Go ahead. Because of the bombs you guys used on him, I actually did lower his AC before the fight. Oh my god. <laughs> which means which means that if you guys didn't use the bombs, he would have been even more he would have had even more. Jesus fuck. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> this is the, the, the Dico's just like, I don't I, I want you all to die today. Zelda has gone on long enough, I think. It's time to perish. It would be funny if this game ended in failure. <laughs> <laughs> After I'm this long. <laughs> I mean, we gotta have a come up at there some are, point. There are of... things. There are there are things here that could kill you guys. You guys I, are in the late you game. You think? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that happened. That it was still alive. Um, so Ronan was like, "How dare!" and bum rushed it and used Gora's fury, and it was still alive after <laughs> that. Uh, and then uh, I proceeded to. Uh, perform like absolute dog shit the rest of the fight uh and we whittled it down with bug bites <laughs> did he have the um, highest hp i'm gonna look he might have had it, the highest hp of anything i think you guys he fought. probably has it was close um, it's close it's it's very close between him and the and the uh, king dodongo but no uh he had higher he had higher hp than the king dodongo that was the highest hp enemy you all, you guys also fought <laughs> Fucking yeah, we were all kind of not doing great that fight. <clears throat> it was, like it, it was, it was kind of kind of rough, but we did it. Uh, Ronan got the gauntlets. Uh, Anna, who is totally not Atalanta, <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, why'd you even bring that up? <laughs> um, uh, it was like you can keep those gauntlets for now, and I'm like, cool, thanks. Uh, and then Gorthos and her had a little talk about how she like ran away from the from the hundred hero fight back in back in the past times, which we are in currently. Um, and she was like, "I was scared," and, and we were pretty much like, "Fair, <laughs> that it's it's scary." <laughs> um, <laughs> But uh, that she was she was feeling a little a little down, um, and Gorthos was like, "Hey, you know where you want to know where I got these bones? <laughs> um, they're from you. you you're yeah. It's very so fun it's very funny. Knowledge. It's very funny because <laughs> if you look at them next to each other too, it's very obvious that they're Atalanta. 
Yeah, like the, <laughs> yeah. there are like only slight details missing on her that are. It's because on, it's different artists, those. but yeah, different art. But yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's because it's, it's a slight difference. Whenever I, whenever I, uh, whenever I wanted to get her, I, I literally sent this garb over to Lindo. He did better <laughs> when it came to, uh, he did better when it came to uh, the other uh, version of it. But uh, I wanted this one to be like a slightly older version or like a slightly different look of it uh because i didn't want it to immediately be given away but she mm -hmm. has very resembling things going on she picked up some stuff on the way it's yeah, fine yeah yeah it's right he also made the myro one yep yeah <laughs> that one was that one had to be identical though because it was yeah. the same outfit <laughs> the exact um, same outfit but <clears throat> yeah i think that was everything right mm -hmm. Uh, you guys are also uh, going off to find another uh, feeling that uh, that Gorthos had felt, another person seemingly traveling through time uh, at the right, same level yes. as you. Because um, Matilda hasn't point, got here yet. Exactly. You guys haven't sensed or seen Matilda show up yet, at least Gorthos hasn't, which means that you know where she's going to show up. It's going to show up somewhere around where the temple is. Um, not exactly at the temple. You guys know that. It's not going to be at the temple, but it will be somewhere around the temple. Uh, mm. And uh, yeah, you guys are off to find the other thing. Thank you for volunteering for that. That was very nice of you. Got you, fam. I'm going to give you, for volunteering, two reroll tokens. <gasps> oh, yeah. Wow. Look at those. Thank Holy you. shit. Me. <laughs> they will probably be used immediately. <laughs> we'll see. But yes, thank you guys all very much for for uh, for showing up today. We have some fun things to go on. I've already said uh, a couple of things to a couple of you, and I think we just need to know that I do love you guys. That being said, he apologized to us before game chat. That being said, you guys are gonna go off into the woods. He apologized to to, to you and Anthony specifically for some reason. <laughs> Gonna go off in the woods. The rest of us didn't get an apology. I guess it's fine <laughs> if we fucking die. I only apologize to the ones I like. <laughs> oh, gotcha. I understand. <laughs> I, mean, I am in every game. <laughs> that being said, you guys make your ways further in. Following the scent of the person that you are going toward Gorthos. Uh, it was going to take you guys a little bit to get there. Is there anything you guys want to go over before going there? Is there anything you guys would like to talk to each other about? Uh, do to each other in case there's any any kind of buffing or healing needs to be done. Uh, or if you guys want to speak to Atalanta, you guys can do that. Uh, uh, any sort of preparation I'll, or any sort of any sort of chatting. I'll lay down a song of healing to give us a D6 of hit points for anyone who needs it. Sounds good. Sounds good. Do, do you I, mean, I can't will... benefit from that, right? Uh, I believe no. I, I believe we specified that I can't. But you also have several other minstrels around you who can do that with you. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm gonna say also, yes. Go ahead and roll. Before I do that, I will chug a fucking yellow potion as well to get rid of that exhaustion. I have. yeah. You have currently. Do you yeah, want to use only some, that one. potion now, or do you want to use my sense of adventure to get rid of an exhaustion? If you were willing to give that, I would take it. Sure. Okay. Everyone can either heal an exhaustion or a D4 if they need. I think okay. the only ones that need to heal are Gorthos and Ronin. Uh, mm -hmm. So go ahead and the D. Oh, nice. There you go. Ronin is full up. Uh, Gorthos, you'll be getting healed a D4 and a D6. Ooh. Delicious. <laughs> Your roll is bad. <laughs> I don't have a normal D6. Uh, seven. You're back to full. I guess in that case, I won't do a song of healing because there's no need. I, I was assuming that was the song of healing. My bad. Oh, the D4 came from heck and Marco. Me. Oh, yeah. Me. I, I was assuming the D6 that I just hold in a roll was the song of healing. No. Uh, my bad. My bad. Womp. Uh, I don't believe anybody else took anything. Uh, oh, Atalanta needs to heal. Hold on. Uh, roll, me a, roll me a D. Roll me a D6. Uh, there, Ronan. Uh, but... Okay. Take six. <laughs> Everyone's back to full. <laughs> good, 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 good. 
as you guys step your way through, uh, if there's nothing else to go over uh, or anything to anything to talk about, you guys make your way toward what you guys can only assume by walking. Uh, Gorthos, you sort of feel it thanks to being a Kokiri, quote unquote. Uh, but the ones who mostly bring it up are uh, Z and Atalanta. As you guys are stepping closer, we're going toward the great tree. Oh. All right. Well, why? Okay. I don't. Do we're not that? there yet. But if we're going on this path that Gorthos is leading us down, that's where it leads to the great tree. Hmm. That could be important. You guys know in the vision you had gotten from the previous um uh from the previous sage of the forest the great deck the great tree got blowed up today <laughs> oh uh. <laughs> got bloated up mm. exploded it is so, a portion of things to come something crashed into it you guys also know that eventually uh, you're pretty sure it's not going to happen now. Who knows? I mean, they don't want to, but also eventually a large bolt of lightning goes through it as well <laughs> <laughs> because of a certain someone. Um, yeah. But you remember uh, in the actual vision that something had crashed through it before Atalanta ever charged that thing with fucking lightning. Mm -hmm. Do you think that we're here to speak to me, but no, the tree couldn't have been going through time. I have no idea. At this point, I feel like it's hard to say. Maybe we should pick up the pace, though. Just to keep people from blowing up the tree, or do we want to prevent that, actually? Uh Hmm. It depends on if we're here to re stop things that are happening or if we're just here to grab the princess. That's right. Yeah, we should. Uh, yeah. Uh, Besides, uh, if Gorthos recalls, none of us here can stop a Voris lightning. <clears throat> so. Hmm. Did we ever ask Miss Avori why she did that to the great tree? R remind me, Dika, was that just like collateral? Uh, you know that she had struck the great tree with uh, with her with her hell lightning. Uh, she never told you why. No, you guys hardly brought it up because that was something you learned from the Sage of the Forest. We probably forgot to once we got there. Yeah, a lot of shit exploded on us. So <laughs> I so I I misinterpreted. There are some people here. There are some people scenes. here that can that can uh, that can talk about it. What's going on, Marco? So I thought our, our good friend Atlanta was the one that uh when she did her thing we thought the tree. Yeah, so there are I thought, here's the thing a lot of stories. Early game, you guys all uh -huh. thought Atalanta destroyed the tree. Yes. Later on, during the Sage of the Forest thing, it was revealed that something had crashed through the tree, and then Ivori had charged that tree with lightning. Right. Mm. You're not sure yeah, if Atalanta yeah. still then would hit the tree with lightning later or not, but mm. from what Gorthos had saw, that does happen. So mm. all three mm. of those things are true. <laughs> oh, Great Deku Tree has light, get hit with lightning so fucking often. Twice. Twice. Are, are you sure you can't do lightning magic now? Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that qualifies for the, the training that... Well, I wasn't a part of the Great Tree whenever it was destroyed by lightning, I don't think. <laughs> I was let out a lot sooner than that. <laughs> if Ori did not, so true. she did not explain exactly why. But mm. there's lightning magic is extremely difficult to wield. It's not something your average magician or even sage can do. Out of most of the different kinds of magics, it is most likely probably the rarest. Hmm. This is Gallon just looks over. I could do it. Yeah, you probably could if you tried. <laughs> prove it. I don't have to prove anything to you. 
<laughs> you sure you could learn it from someone who can use it and probably won't have you stand on top of a mountain with a metal pole in your hands yeah that's that's mostly the problem learning it you can't really learn it the normal ways that magicians do because it'll kill you <laughs> Ma oh maybe maybe that's a special way like when you're going through carpet and you're wearing woolly socks, you can kind of control lightning that way. Gallon does a finger gun at you like, you got it, you nailed it on the head. <laughs> we'll do that as soon as we get back. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually even a little pumped like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's times whenever you just do a little bit of lightning magic at people. Over is just looking <laughs> over at you guys like, fuck it, I'm in. <laughs> 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 Everybody can do a little bit of lightning magic. <laughs> these are some heroes likely. again. These are some strange heroes you brought together with you, Corthus. <laughs> oh, well, well, they're not much. They're far from the strangest, and they're. And he feels they would have all fit right in. Hmm. But yeah, lightning magic is very difficult to wield. It's also very difficult to learn. Um, perhaps there was something else that Missy Vori was doing with their spell? Perhaps there was something in the tree. There's something wrong with it. Mm. Perhaps... Perhaps Gan got to it. Who knows? But he does know. There was a vision of... Atalanta using the lightning medallion within the tree as well. So twice at least the tree is struck with lightning. The, but I did not know did it? Not the initial not the initial now that we've gotten context of what happened here. They will look down but, toward their lightning medallion. Uh hmm. There would be enough power within something like this. Yeah, he's been hesitant. He's been very careful not to drain it completely. Yeah, uh, his version, at least. It's not as pristine, but it's serviceable. It is around this time, as you guys are going through getting things settled, talking about this, still walking. You guys do see, as you're heading toward the tree, what appears to be a small glint in the sky, even seen through the canopy of the trees. You guys see maybe sunlight, but throughout this strange red light, it is much darker, much more sinister, as something seems to be coming down from the sky. You said this is off in the distance, right? A little bit off from where you guys are, yes. You guys see light coming from the canopy of the um, of the forest. That's not what we're looking for, is it, Gorthos? It's not what we're looking for, is it, Deacon? You guys are apparently going in the same direction, but it is uh. difficult to think that you're heading toward something. You know that, again... If someone is there, that's probably bad. <laughs> because if something is falling from the sky, it can only be the thing that hits the Great Deku Tree. Ah, damn it. <laughs> uh, we must hurry. Do you guys wish to go toward the Great Tree, knowing that something is about to collide with it? That is where you feel the feeling that is coming from uh, that 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 strange time magic feeling that's coming from. I say yes. Okay. As you guys start making your way toward the great tree, Atalanta stops looking toward the tree. I maybe I shouldn't be near there though. I I could blow it up. Hey, you uh, remember what we talked about? Mm -hmm. 
Just because something happened doesn't mean it has to happen. You just see Link look back to you and give a smile. <laughs> You've, you guys have shown that. Time isn't mm. a line. It's a tree or a bramble or yeah. a mess. <laughs> Some, yeah, something confusing that makes no sense. Cobra is just the like typhoon. a fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, correct, you are. Either I'm way, soup. don't worry about it. Okay. As you guys move forward, you see in front of you as you're moving, despite going there as quickly as you can. A collision does happen off ahead of you. You guys hear something collide with the Great Deku Tree. You hear the snapping of very strong wood, almost like, almost like rock and mountain was destroyed with how thick the bark would have been. The snapping and twisting is very audible. And Ronan, you feel while that's happening, there is physical reactions happening from Z knowing that that is them Z is very much like eh. <laughs> it's almost like Z can either empathize or actually feel some of what's happening uh, you're good buddy you came out no worse for wear as this lands A great roaring sound happens. Gorthos. E. You've heard this roaring sound before. Oh, fuck me. Both you and Atalanta have heard this roaring sound before. Well, Marco, Z you've heard this roaring sound before. <laughs> Oh. Huh. You guys hear what could only be the moblin that you guys have been told to not go anywhere near. As its scream echoes throughout the forest. How oh, did it fall from the sky? As you guys hear it, Orion steps off in front. As Orion steps off in front, they seem to stop and stand to the side in front of all of you as if trying to stop you. Stops. I will stop. <laughs> You know it too. Mm. Polo. Yeah. You are somewhat connected with Orion. Orion <laughs> seems to be very stalwart in wanting to stop all of you from going forward. Uh. Mm. They are in their large form. They are looking just ahead of you. Polo, I would like you to roll me for your instinct, please. <clears throat> Alrighty. You are in your high demon state, so I will allow you to roll it with advantage. Yeah. Okay. One sec. Let me put this over here. And I'm gonna put these two little bears in here. Uh, sixteen. And then seventeen. Eighteen. Polo, you feel in front of you a massive amount of not malice, technically malice, not <laughs> monster, but you smell the same thing you had smelt whenever you were in Slaverman's area. You smell demonic blood. 
in front of you. Monster and monster and demon blood in a massive amount ahead of you. There's a bit of like a like 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 I guess like a little bit of a choke and like a like like it's overwhelming. Um, probably because she's in high demon state and hey, just okay? a small covering. Uh, it is like in Slaverman's complex. An abundance of demonic blood. <sighs> it is. It is so potent. It is almost exactly the same. It is overwhelming. You do notice that it is moving. And it seems to be moving. With us, do you feel that thing? It's probably person? going toward the fight. It's the Moblin. It's Ganon. I thought you. I thought the thing you felt was someone traveling through time. That's still over there. <laughs> it's, it's still there. Actually, Gorthos, roll me for your uh, experience, please. All right, neat. <laughs> I don't, need, I don't have these no more. But we do have this stuff over here. You have some things over there, yeah. I'm gonna take them from the bottom because I'm not a fucking heathen. Yeah. You got three you're gonna throw in? Okay. I want to know. Can you show me? That's a bad sign. Tell me two more times. Final. Yeah. No, oh, because remember, this is three extra, so you have one more now. Oh, yeah. Eight, eight, five. <laughs> oh. uh, the highest was a nine plus your seven, right? Yeah. That's 16's still... good. It's still good, yeah. <laughs> Gorthos. You sense two. Two? You sense two presences that aren't supposed to be in this time ahead of you now. There's... No, there's... There's two of them? Two? There's two of them. Now, now there's two. What? Where exactly? These you points know. ahead at the fucking tree. Okay, so... Gorthos. Only one thing just appeared in front of you. And you know that that is the creature that you fought. And Atalanta just said that's the creature that's going toward the fight. But that means... That the Moblin shouldn't be in this time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The I, <laughs> I just made that as a joke. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I remember specifically making a joke that oh, this model was going through the force, going through time. I was <laughs> trying to be serious about that. <laughs> Which means it's... whenever you fought the Moblin a thousand years ago, it shouldn't have been there. It. This is. The Moblin shouldn't have... The Moblin should not have been there. The Moblin is displaced in time. Which means... It means we could have won. But... How? What sent it? Where? Did it come from? When did it come from? Those are questions that we can't really answer right now. Gorthos, currently, Orion is stopping you guys from going ahead. Polo said that this creature is moving. <laughs> you guys can wait for the creature to move where it's going to go, which you know is going to be toward the battle. And then you guys can approach the other signature, the other out-of-time figure. Or 
you can disobey Orion and go ahead right now. And of Ori. Mm hmm. Mm. Uh, decisions. I hate them. Uh. I'm going to go back to the Forest of Thorns music. Okay. <laughs> I had to, had to throw a Ganon music in there for a minute. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I, was, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> But yeah, if, that does mean that back then you definitely could have won. It explains why you were so prepared but still lost. Because someone cheated. <laughs> Hacks. I mean, is it really cheating when we do that a lot? Hacks! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you were trying not to affect it right now. <laughs> if we intercept it. It's different when we do it because we don't get a bajillion health like they do. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so he's playing we on the game plus, he's cheating. If, if we were to go up against it right now, I don't know if we could take it. If a hundred heroes couldn't do it. It's not we could have. Someone sent it back here. Something. He could save. He could. Stop. Your <sighs> face? It's difficult because now inside your head, you know that something is the reason why you lost. You were never meant to lose. But at the same time, if you lost then, can you win now? I think we should probably prioritize the other the other time traveler. Is there any way we can displace it somewhere else? Not without maybe approaching it. it. We could get it to chase us through the forest and then maybe have it go somewhere else that way, but we would have to be near it to do it. Mm. We'd have to get its attention and then we would be in danger. I'm fine to listen to whatever all of you say. It's not like I didn't sign up to take that thing down eventually, anyway. Orion's senses are keen, and he has his pride. If he refuses to move forward, it's because he knows it is death. Yeah. I don't... I've not been... I haven't spent so much time around that dog to not know he's serious right now. To keep going further would be suicide. Yes. Then we need to wait and we need to collect the princess. Is that not what it we is... came here for, Gorthos? Mm. Gorthos, you feel a hand go on your shoulder <laughs> as you see Link slash Jason slash Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> Slash Zelda. Slash Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda Jason Matilda Link. Sounds like a government name. <laughs> I'll do whatever you want to do. But it is dangerous. He wants to save them. It's to stop it. Make up for it. But you can't save everyone. No matter how much you wish it, he knows it to be true.
Ganon will die one day, but not today. You guys wait a little while as Polo, you feel that strong amount of demonic blood and monster-like blood going away. Whatever they did with it, whatever it's doing with it, it is extremely potent, extremely just distracting, but eventually it does make its way <laughs> away. And as it does, as if it signifies your decision, Gorthos, you hear combat far off in the distance, and the only reason you hear it is because you hear yelling, very familiar yelling that you guys had just done yourselves. You guys hear the sound of Kartani going into battle, the large howling throughout the throughout the forest. Which means they have now met with you and the riders. There's not a ton of time before Matilda shows up. At this point, Orion steps out of the way as if going forward is not a problem anymore. Do you guys want to make your way toward the whatever's left of the great tree? Hmm. Ye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I know it. That's that's the sound right there. That's 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 the howling. <laughs> I'm glad Kratari, I didn't um... say anything there because I would have been like, yeah, let's go kill it and risk myself being a race of time. One second. Okay. I just imagine you foot that fucking dog just having it's like Katani, use your war howl. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> you yeah, guys. Some people just vanished. Yeah, I'll get I'll get you guys back, don't worry. Oh jeez. You guys make your way. As you do, you see in front of you. Large destroyed branches of the great tree everywhere collapse throughout everything about you. Looking at the height and the width of some of these things, you can kind of tell just looking at just thinking back to the tree you guys had seen back in the area. This thing was large whenever it was it was alive. This thing probably poked its head through the forest several times over. As you all begin to approach it, you are met with the visage of someone ahead of you. Where are you at? Where are you at, you punk? You in here? Not me. You in here? Not me. Hmm. I'll just grab one of you. I'll just I'll just remake the token real quick. I thought I put it in. I didn't. Shit. It's right here. Shit. It's fine. It's already been made and everything. I just have to upload it. We'll never recover. Never recover. It's gonna take way too much time. I'll never it's financially done. recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see. Standing up ahead, Bloop. what appears to be a large horse. Horse seems to be staring over toward where the branches are. That's different. Um. <laughs> Not sure how to interpret this one. Um, he's your horse. He's your game. I guess, well, I guess we 
approach Get horse. Out there. You guys gonna approach the horse? Approaching horse. The horse yes. turns to you and fires off its lightning magic. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, here and we meet again. <laughs> <laughs> Great horse hero, Kieran. <laughs> as you guys, heroes look come in all it, shapes. As you guys look to it, for a moment, the horse looks back toward all of you and looks for a second like it's going to charge at you, but it stops. Hmm. It stops because it sees what Polo is snacking on. <laughs> 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 it wants to take. It wants to have it. It wants to take it. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's... it wants to eat that now. Oh. Guess it's time to approach the horse. Are we too close yeah, to the, the edge? Is that one? Okay, let me hold on. Yeah, it's the it's the edge. Let me let me move side. the thing over so no, we can. No, I can just move to the side here, and I'm fine. Nah, See? Well, I, I'm just I'm just gonna. I don't want to have to deal with it today. We're just gonna move it. <laughs> want to have to deal with this shit today? Whoop! Yeah, that works. <laughs> there we go. Marco, as you begin to approach it, roll me for your experience. Okay. I mean, you know, I'm just gonna put him one of these as well. Fun. Also, remember that Gorthos has three fleetings. I didn't actually notice that back whenever they were rolling earlier. <laughs> oh, okay, sick. Because I'm just cool like this. Just do blanc, blanc, blanc. There you go. Now we know. First roll the three. Second roll is a four. <laughs> come on now. Come on now, dice. Natural 20 with double experience. Natural 28. Marco. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? <laughs> I approached the horse. <laughs> you approach the horse. As you do. You do find that the horse seems to stare at you as you approach it. It doesn't make any moves to you. It just sort of looks at you and uh, give me one second as I'm trying to pull up a thing and I keep zooming out of the actual thing instead of the thing I'm looking at. Do, 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 do. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, there we go. Had to get it, had to make sure it was the correct one. As you look to them, they look back to you. And you find that this is a horse you recognize. How could this be a horse I recognize? You recognize this horse. Oh, I didn't mean to make a trap thing there. This is... This is Phil. Phil the horse? This is a horse that used to be at your farm. This is the horse that your dad took. Why is my dad's horse here? Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Phil lowers his head to you as you say, Phil. Pet. <laughs> <laughs> As Phil lets out little little horse noises, you guys see that the horse isn't gonna attack you guys or anything. There we go. That's the spelling my dad would have used. <laughs> yeah.
as you guys approach. We wouldn't have seen this horse for like over a decade at this point, right? Uh huh. What are you doing all the way here, Phil? <laughs> you're you're an old. <laughs> <laughs> Me looking up horse lifespans, they 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 go for you know twenty five to thirty years, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. On the healthy side, I'm sure that long on horse is probably on the thirty. And he's he's horse he's just... a, he's aging great. He doesn't look older than a day. He doesn't look older than the day he went missing. My dad. <laughs> uh, Gortha just kind of walks up and it likes you. It's my dad's horse. He like looks around, he looks under the horse. He's like, well, where's your father? That's what I would like to know. Hmm. Ronan. It... Hmm. Hola. Yeah. The two of you are not involved with horse stuff. I would like the two of you to roll me for your instinct, please. And Tink. Uh, you know what? Horse is just a really long, weird sheep. Yeah, Let me exactly. roll that. 16, 17. Diligence, you said? Instinct. Plus your instinct. That's two. That's instinct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 19. So mine's a 14. The two of you would hear the battle going on behind you. As you do, you guys feel that whatever's happening is definitely happening. Um, but, Polo, you also hear a noise coming from where the tree is. As you see looking over toward where it is the destruction of where the tree had landed because this again this isn't the stump of the tree this is just where all the all the things had fallen around as you look over to it you hear a slightly scraping sound as you do you see a person over by one of the tree trunks as they come into view Stepping out and around. Oh. Man's is built like a fridge. <laughs> Is that Markiplier? <laughs> <laughs> is that only, only Hi, Polo, my name is Markiplier. Only, po only Polo has seen them yet. That's just fucking <laughs> Venom Snake. They seem to be dragging behind them uh, what appears to be a large net. Hiff, 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 hiff. What you hiffing? Hiff in the air. Are you trying to figure out anything? Figure out who that might be? Smell like a, smell like a, like a sweaty Highland. <laughs> All right. <It's> sweaty Highland. <laughs> sweaty Highland, okay. There was, there was that brief moment where it was like, saw the eye patch and then it was like, no, no, it's not that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't smell like, they don't smell like they have any demon in them. <laughs> they, he looks nothing like the portrait mother showed me. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out they're your dad. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> I don't believe it. Do you want to bring up that a person is over there? Someone is approaching us. They don't seem to be approaching, someone, they seem to be doing something with a net over there. Someone, okay, they're not approaching, but they... Someone seems to be doing something over there. They are... very sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> As 
as Polo points this out, everybody would see looking over to the side very briefly. Again, Polo would have noticed them a little bit more, but now that they're fully seen, you see a person from the back uh, with a large net that seems to be chittering. The large net seems to be somewhat moving uh, <laughs> as he seems to be struggling to pull it. Marco. Yeah. You see a man off in the distance as he turns slightly toward everybody. You see a new eye patch. But you see what appears to be your father. So this is why you apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I showed this to Eric several weeks ago. <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> Eric, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Magical. Dad? He's rather far away. But, uh... As you say that, Gorthos, you hear Marco say this under his breath. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Nudge. Nudge. Push. <laughs> <laughs> well, since he was nudged and pushed, I guess he has to keep moving. You and he will sure. grab, you know, Phil's uh, the rope thing. As yeah. you start clip-clopping over with Phil, the clip-clops are being heard as you hear, Phil, you don't need to help. I got this. He doesn't seem to have noticed you guys being there at all. Mm -hmm. Despite having turned around to you guys at somewhat, he doesn't seem to have noticed you guys. And Marco's still walking. Chop doesn't even realize that yet. Do you approach? Fully? He approaches. Marco, as you get near, you find that as you look toward the large net that he seems to be dealing with the chittering sound seems to immediately come to you as you notice now what he is moving and immediately you get sort of defensive he seems to be oh. pulling an entire net full of bomb chews <laughs> oh it's it's genetic isn't it <laughs> <laughs> They seem to be stuck between the branches. What the oh, hell are you doing? Gordon <laughs> <laughs> just turns to the group. He thinks it's going well. <laughs> you see him stop and then slowly look back. You're not fit. Oh. You shouldn't be here. And neither should you, Dad. You look good. <laughs> he ties the rope that he has the the net and starts stepping towards you what are you doing here dad why uh, this isn't something that 
He looks back to the bomb chews as if trying to find some way to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a place for a kid, Marco. Do I look like a child? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes me think I'd probably fuck up. I don't know if you do or not. But I sure as hell know that you've been gone for my whole life. You didn't tell any of them, did you? That's why they never told me anything. Because nobody knew where the hell you went. I... I can ex... I wasn't planning to stay away. How long has it been? Decades, Dad. <sighs> Look at you. <laughs> Decked out in magic items and looking real pissed. I am very pissed because I wasn't expecting to seeing you here. <sighs> the most dangerous time in the last thousand goddamn years when you're back here. I needed to set it right. Do you know what's happening here? This is the Hundred Hero War, where some of the heroes betrayed the other heroes, where a Calamity came back from the future, I guess, back here to do whatever it's doing to mess up everything. And now you're here trying to help Grandpa, You know, I a guess is what you're doing here. You know a lot more about this than I do. I know I know <laughs> more than you do. Because I've had the time to explore all the bullshit that's been happening. While well, you just race back in time, however you did that in the forest. Lucky that you did that, by the way, instead of, you know, becoming a a stall or something. Because I had been here before. I yeah, I know. Found. You know that, but. I'd like to explain it as best as I can if you're fine with that please I'm not here to help dad or grand granddad I'm here to do what he didn't do because I was here whenever everything happened back whenever I came with them all uh, taking pictures and everything that I was doing whenever everything went bad dad focused on getting me out and because of that he didn't do what he needed to do your granddad was a hero he was a great hero who was able to go through the battlefield in the blink of an eye bringing munitions and medical supplies and everything to each and every person that he could as well as taking out any monster that would get in his way but because I was around he took me out of the forest 
he stayed. Because he was protecting me, he died. And because he died, no one found his munitions or anything that was there. He motions back over to the net full of bomb juice. I was planning on luring that thing here. Because from what I remember, a great bolt of lightning struck this area. I was going to lure him here, get him struck by that, and then unload everything onto him. And you don't need to be here when I do that. I don't know what ends up happening to you when you try that. But all I know is that that thing... It never comes back here. That's why I was wanting to lure it here. I have everything set up. I'm going to go there myself with Phil. I'm going to get his attention. I'm going to drag him back here if I have to. Dad? You'd be lucky enough that he just swings at you and Phil and just gets sent into the forest. That thing is far more powerful and far more beastful than just follow one of you, one person, to this place. I don't, you need to I don't think I'll kill it. But if what your grandfather said is true, I can do something to it. Who are your friends? He motions back toward everybody. <laughs> Gorthos waves. Well, he doesn't seem to react to Gorthos waving. He just motions back there. Those are my friends there. We are back in our time. The champions. How many are there? A lot. Again, I, Marco, I you notice... Number. You notice looking at him, he he did not have an eye patch the last time you saw him. Dad, can you not see right? Because I know there's the eye patch and I mean, I can assume that, you know, some depth perception, but can the you first, not see out of your other eye that well either? The first time I tried coming to this place, I nearly died. And I found this graveyard. The one who was there got me back on my feet, but... So that's why Grandfather's grave there was visited. It was you. I don't know what to say, Marco, but I, what I do know is I don't have a lot of time. If you, if you, if we can, can we, he looks back toward what he has. No, I can't ask you. Good that you're here. Take Phil and go. Darn it. You guys can be approaching if you want to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's about, that, it's, about, it's about time. <laughs> I think. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, all I know that happens in this location is a whole, it's a large bolt of lightning going off. That's no, what, like, that's what I saw bomb before, too. explosion. And I sure as hell know that even whatever happens here, 
that I'm pretty sure Ganon does not come here. Ganon? Is that the thing's name? Yes. Nasty thing. Huh, I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> dad, Gorthos, Gorthos, Dad. You've grown up. Gor- kind of. Gorthos. He takes the yeah. shows he shows off the skull. Hmm. Puts the mask back on. Complicated story, little one. Uh, well, um... Uh... Suffice to say, he understands your objective more than you can imagine. Then there's something you need to know, then. Again, I... I feel like everything here is sort of my fault. <clears throat> my father, Marco's grandfather, had a theory about this beast. Whenever he saw it, whenever it approached all of you and he took off with me, he told me, <clears throat> but I couldn't do anything about it. Not until I figured out how to go into this place. Spent my what life setting things up around Lon Lon, researching things about this forest. But he sees, or he seems to think that there was a great blade that he wore, one that was drenched in demon blood. Blade in demon blood. That would explain the spell that you smelled, Polo. When she... The he forge. That with it, he gained a lot of power, but using things like that also le- land them a curse. My thoughts are not to kill this Ganon. But my father thought that that curse was... Whatever... I could do to him would stay with him. Hmm. Whatever damage I can do because of his armament, he will not be able to recover. Hmm. That's what my father wanted to do before he got attacked. By a Sheikah in the forest. So, to get this straight, Ganon's weapon is cursed and anything you do to him will last forever? I don't believe he can regenerate anything. I believe that because of the weapon he holds, he has it for a reason. I, I don't know what it is, but whatever great effect he got, he got a curse as well. Fucking weirdo McDonald's. Mm. Mm. Whatever that blade can do must be something grand, but it comes with that weakness, at least from what my father thought. And if this is true, then quenching and the report of it quenching blades and demon blood. Mm, that much, that much malice. What kind of a power would equate to having that kind of a curse? I have no idea. Something catastrophic. My father, your grandfather, had a lot of skill. He could essentially look at something and tell most things about it. Mm. He was a fantastic hero. Hmm. I sharper than Arito's, that one. Something I'll never have. <laughs> hmm. Like I said, this is my second time attempting this. The first time I was attacked by <laughs> monsters. Barely got out with my life. Hmm. But that's also you how I know pl- I can lure him. If 
If you all let me do this. It's something that can deal a blow to this creature. Mm -hmm. It's already fighting us as we speak. Do you have, do you even have a way to lure it here? Or a way to escape? I've done that, it, especially. I've done it before, but unfortunately his monsters overrun me. That's why I have these emotions back over toward the large amounts of fucking bomb juice. These things are better always, than regular bombs. They go after things. I was always wondering where all those went. <laughs> <laughs> My plan is because Phil is a lot quicker than any of them are. I'll grab as many of these as I can carry that I feel aren't needed. Me and Phil will go and grab this creature, bring him here. And then we wait for that lightning strike. Whenever it happens. I've lured Marco. it before. What do you think about this? It's a decent plan. But I can't help but hate it. <sighs> well then. Well, of I course you hate it. We... You just see Hosier <laughs> stand out. Obviously <laughs> it fails. Because you don't come back. Hosier just seems red in the face. <laughs> You left your daughters and your son by themselves. Your daughter is going to wed a demon. Maybe. <laughs> She's very <laughs> wed a demon. He's well. Is he nice? He's very nice. He's very nice. <laughs> Maybe I thought that would get have a reaction. We haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> we don't know that. Sorry. We haven't smelled it. <laughs> what does that mean? Never mind. You say, Ronan. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, maybe it doesn't have to fail this time. <laughs> maybe we can make it so it never did. Maybe uh, even just showing his escape? Yeah. I imagine this plan of yours would go better if you had the use of uh, your full eyesight, right? He's going to whip out his violin. <laughs> Do you think you can get him back uh, his full eyesight? How long ago did this happen to you? This whole eye situation? I was spending several weeks back with that person back at the graveyard. I believe mm -hmm. around... So hard to say time now looks over to Marco. It's like... Relative to you, how long four, ago did it happen? It was around four months. Four oh, or five. well then. Mm -hmm. Cred. Mm -hmm. Your plan, while well, suicidal, is acceptable. Though... I'm the only one quick enough to be able to do it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That is I've inherited not true. my I've inherited my father's speed as well as his tenacity. And your son has inherited both yours and his. That's out of the question. Hmm. You know... I don't, I don't think Ophi's regenerative abilities could restore an eye. Could it, Ophi? Ophi doesn't uh. know, but Ophi would love to clean this guy's sweat off of it. But... I refuse. I'm, I'm much faster than Marco could be. You've been going for... Marco, how old are you? Somewhere over 20. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's, also been he's also been trained by Sheikah Warrior. Sheik. Hmm. 
They're not all traitors. I have a lot of unique abilities thanks to the Triforce of Power. You... I have more Joe. experience. Hmm. I believe Marco more has more me. experience. You're a farmer hmm. who got away in over his head. The stories we could tell you might make your heart stop. Marco's an adventurer. He's been through a, tons of stuff like this, right, buddy? He's handled very dangerous bombs before. Even been caught in the blast of one, almost. I've been going in and out of dungeons since before you were gone from my life, and I continued afterwards. I have far more experience than you could possibly have. Not to mention, he could probably ride a horse better than you in this state. Yeah, he can, he can, <laughs> Over he can do a mean up. ride. <laughs> <laughs> Horses can do a lot. They have a lot of instincts, but without the rider having good eyesight, <laughs> that isn't worth a damn. I know. So you're going to hand over those bombs. I'm going to get on Phil. I'm going to drag that stupid Boblin because he knows my face. And I'm sure he'd <laughs> love to get his hands on me. Pet, pet, this pet time. the horse. You petting the horse? What are you doing? Yeah. Why do we not let Phil decide? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I will say, when Polo says that, Phil does seem to be standing very sturdy near Marco. <laughs> At the end of the day, I don't think either one of you could if he refuses to let you on, on his back. The one who has the ultimate deciding power is the horse. Well, obviously, as he starts stepping forward, you see Phil rear back and step back. He shakes his head like... Burr. He's already been through you failing this once. How do... <laughs> you all think that Marco can... But he is your son. What does so that mean? The... I'm nothing. So but just how quickly Marco is, Marco will go and uh, grab mm. the bag of bombs and unstuck it and come back to where he was. Oh, it is. It is. Whenever I say bag, it's a net. It is a. It is a net that is stuck because it is stuck between. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a lot of bomb juice. <laughs> oh, well, there's one easy solution. He pulls out the clarity card. <laughs> Would oh, that have that? Would that, be... Have... Would, that... Would that? Would that be able to get all of them? It is a big bundle, isn't I it? I mean, that's a good question. I'm trying to think if we've done that before. I mean, she's put a whole house in one. That's true. I mean, that it was she did. She also put a whole lawn lawn cake in them. Yeah, it but those are all cake. like one thing, though. It's a not house like... is a lot of things. I know. No, but... it was it was a it was a hut. It wasn't a okay. house. It was a hut. Okay, the hut's a I lot know. of things. It's a lot. It was an empty <laughs> hut. And all the bombs fused them into one. <laughs> <laughs> one mega one mega chew. Marco, yeah, let's just use the fuse rune. Marco, <laughs> you can't get all of them, but roll me a d twenty. I'm guessing this Get is it. not a styling roll, so I can't do my stupid. No, just just uh, the d20. Damn. Mm. Not 20, you wild son of a bitch. That was so close. Cool. Cool. Yeah, one more time. Yep. Let's go. It's, all, it's never impossible. Nothing's impossible, only improbable. When you use it, you do find that about eight of them go in. You have a cluster of bomb chews inside of that card. Remember, the plan was not to use all of these on that. The plan was to use these here and take some of them to distract the monsters as you were going. Yeah. Eight bomb chews is still a lot of bomb chews. still a lot of bomb chews. Yeah. 
And then, you know, he starts, he then begins putting stuff into his bomb bag. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, there's another hmm. probably nine we can say you have there. Ten. Well, yeah, but that one is the, is the bad spot. Ah. That oh. one is the spot where Bomb Chew especially will get out of that. <laughs> that was late. I love that Bomb Chew will just leave. <laughs> that, they'll just leave. And it's great. <laughs> Gotta put a cork in your bag. Eggie says, Marco, here's a reward for doing something worthy of a madman. Fifteen dollars. Oh. Yeah. Then hmm. maybe we can put another bomb chew in there. <laughs> can we put another bomb chew in the fifteen dollars? Fifteen dollars bomb chew. Fifteen dollars for one Hmm. Uh. Yeah. 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 I forget. We've heard this guy. We've heard his name. What is his name? I honestly can't remember. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure Marco gave him a name, and I do not remember it. Marco, what's your dad's name? Isn't uh, it like? Isn't it like Marcus? Like Marcus? Or something? Oh, yeah. It was it's like, like a... Mark, Marcus, and Marco. Like it was some sort of Mark. We joked about it at least. Like that is the grandfather was the original Mark. <clears throat> I think it was Marcus. I think that does sound familiar. There we go. There's Marcus. There we go. I knew that I knew that it was a Mark something. It was a Mar something. Marcus Plyer. <laughs> oh wait. There we go. Marcus, that was Marcus Plyer. <laughs> 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 it's me, Marcus Plyer. I didn't know that Run Marco the... came from the came from the great family of the Pliers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then when he married his mom, he got her took the mom's name. name. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's which was, which was... Ackerman. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I remember there was a, the whole thing where it was like, because his dad was sent forward in time, he still had like an old Hylian name. Yes. Mm-hmm. An old Hylian name, Plyer. <laughs> <laughs> and just so people yeah. know, just so people know. Uh-huh. Granddad's a, name, yeah. Mark. Mark with Mark. You. Old Highland is a fun language. Mark. Uh, you need to, you need to anyway. change this Marcus. You, you gotta put, to, it, gotta put an that. unnecessary yeah, E put in, in there. Put in some unnecessary things in Marcus there. M A R C K U S. Oh, I, I didn't even. I, I don't know. The fucking <laughs> Emerald do it. I'm gonna do something. There we go. Oh, with, a, a, with an H. <laughs> <laughs> The age is silent. That's Marco the worst is silent. fucking. That's the worst fucking C sounds. Why is there an age? The, it's old Hylian. <laughs> it's like Gaelic. Yeah. It makes no fucking sense. Yeah, it's old. He's, old, he's it's old Hylian. That's why there's an H in it. It's old Hylian. You come back with your seventeen but, so, bomb chews. I'm going to make okay. a note of that because depending on how many you use, you may you may keep some. <laughs> so your seventeen bomb chews. As Hell he looks yeah. to you, uh, Mark, Marco, I. Are you sure you can do this? I'm very sure I can do this. I'm not just sure. I've seen this thing face to face before. This thing will more than likely remember my face. It knows it wants me because I pissed it off. So I know that if there any of us have a chance of having it come after us, it'd either be me or Garthor. Gorthos. And Garthos. It would probably just be more confused with Gorthos. Gorthos would like to shoot it. Then he looks around everybody else. I have plenty of munitions around. I don't want to get anyone in any danger but I'm wanting to make sure this place is completely ready for it. Whenever that lightning comes, whatever it was from the sky, I want it to destroy as much of this creature as it can. I Agreed. feel that we have a small amount of time. I remember the fighting vividly mm. in my head. <laughs> we have Marco around 20 out. minutes. Marco will pull out the other right. card. And he'll hand it to Gortho. Mm -hmm. I should probably get ready to get us out of here when this thing goes off. There isn't a lot of time. 
when Matilda shows up, use this on her. So that we're not having to carry her around, I guess. She's hmm. probably going to be disoriented with what happened. Well, most certainly, yes. But you will probably be back before then, Marco. You think? The lightning happens before Matilda shows up. Hmm. Besides, Marco. Unless you're just coming with you. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> All right. He'll put the card back in his pocket. Just note, guys. If things did not go well with Marco's dad, he was fully about to throw him in a car. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're going but, home. <laughs> but as, as Gorth was like, very has extreme difficulty climbing onto the big horse because it's an old school high, uh, horse. Um, <laughs> hey, yeah. What do you think about your dad? Though? <laughs> Why is he shirtless? <laughs> why is he, why well, is he punished more? It's so hot in here, you know, and that's why he's so sweaty and he's been working <laughs> so hard. It's it's punished Marcus, guys. Look at him. Yeah, it's it's just punished. He's got the eye patch and everything. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I need to get you. Mm. I need to get you the the thing real quick. Give me a second. Da -da 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 -da. There is a thing I can use. Damn it. <laughs> It is funny that I'm, I'm now ridden another horse instead of the one that I was given. <laughs> you got Phil! Yeah, this one's familiar with me. It's Phil! It's By the Phil. way, Phil has Phil. been a thing since the beginning of the campaign. <laughs> Phil has been a thing since you first made me a thing. That's why his name is still Phil. Back whenever I was naming everything after, after heroes from the Argo. <laughs> He's Phil Octetes. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love finding out more lore about my character. This is how, honestly, it was probably for the best that you didn't have a backstory game. There were several hey. times when Phil could have shown itself uh, because Phil has been going around the forest. That is one of the, that is one of the encounters that I've been rolling for you guys for. And it just has See, never Phil rolled shows it. Up. Yeah. <laughs> It's just never rolled. Damn. Uh, where is hmm. fucking? I want to get the full art in. I want to get. I want to show you guys the full, the full guy. I have a question, Deco. What is your question? This is a loose interpretation, but would cool bombs those? qualify as ammunition if you are lobbing them? Uh huh. Hmm. The, the correct answer is no, but I want to see what you say. <laughs> Are you lobbing them from something? Your hand. <laughs> Can I shoot a bomb shoot through a slingshot? <laughs> Could you? Could you, though? I'm, that's a no. Oh, that's a good question. Can we tie a bomb shoot to an arrow and shoot? <laughs> it's a very small it. slingshot. How big's a bomb shoot, really? <laughs> <laughs> like the size of like a PlayStation I, Two. <laughs> the reason, the reason so, I'm asking, in, in case this helps arrow. at all, mm -hmm. uh, is I wanted to try to enchant some of the bombs with light magic. Ooh. Ooh. I'd say that sounds fun. It sounds Hell super yeah. fun. So I I'd say that even though no, it shouldn't. Uh, technically, there's probably a large enough slingshot somewhere in the world that could do it, so they could be technically ammunition. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just because you don't exactly have it. it. It's in Gorthos' workshop. Just because you don't Precedent have it doesn't mean, doesn't, mean it's, it's, it doesn't exist. <laughs> I know what I need to do. I'm going to build a bomb list stuff. No, Gorthos. You need to build the fat boy. Instead of a, instead of a whistling sound, it's a little squeaky noise sound like a mask. Look at his, look at his little weapon. Get it, get it. Oh, it's like a, it's like a harpoon spear. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. it's like a spear, a cool but sp it's like a spear, but also a scythe because he's a farmer. Like <laughs> a scythe. Yeah. I like it. It's cool. Yeah. You stab it, and then it get hard to pull out. Yeah. yeah. So if you're gonna let me do that, then I would do it to the ones that we have here because those are the ones we intend to use to hurt it, right? Mm -hmm. We will talk about yeah. that in so, just yeah. a moment. Because okay. uh, you guys, whoever stays behind, will have to potentially help set up some traps. 
I love that we're getting into a bunch of traps. Very fun. Um, traps and traps. Is it is it just Marco and Gorthos going to try to lure the uh, the creature? I will lend them one spaghetti. The Ophis have to stick to you. Never mind. You don't get any spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get any spagoodling. <laughs> My pasta. The spagoodling. No. Nope. Okay. No noodles. Uh, oh. How long does a jam session last? Does it say? Uh, I'd say you have to use it immediately. That's 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 gotcha. we, we've had we've had so many thoughts for jam session. I think yeah. I'm pretty sure it would have to be almost immediate. It makes sense. Yeah. With all, all that right. being said, then the rest of you will stay here, moving the munitions and getting traps ready. Hmm. As these three will head off, we'll get to them in a second. I want to talk to all of you which is to say various NPCs plus Ronan and Polo. <laughs> <coughs> Currently, there are munitions everywhere here. Bombs, bomb chews, different things of that nature all around. He wants to set these things up in a way that whenever the lightning hits this area, this whole area goes boom. Mm -hmm. You guys now potentially know why the area that the uh the kokiri stay in is a big crater anyway so <laughs> you um i would like to ask you guys is there anything you guys would like to do special that you guys can do within these 20 minutes ronan you're gonna mm, want yes. to enchant some of the bombs yeah, I'm gonna can, say that's I not the full do... 20 minutes. So if you want to do something else as well, we can do that as well. Okay, I have to roll something for that though. I think. Yes. Uh, D20 plus magic. Uh, I'll read the rest after. Unfortunately, Obra doesn't have light, so. Uh, okay. Do you need a light? I, actually, can I, I can I use my reroll on that? Yeah. Go right ahead. I will do so. Okay, so go ahead and reroll six. one more time as well. Oh, thank you. You have the four rerolls, I think, don't you? Or did you use them all? Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> You're going down one every time. Uh, that one was still a five, but fucking shit. Uh, does anybody want to use a reroll? I think the only one currently that has any is Polo. Would you like to spare uh... a reroll, Polo, or do you want to keep those for yours? If you want I to keep can... it for yours, go for it. Uh, I can spare one. Angle. Yeah. I'd also want Thank to remind you. all of you guys there is this wide mess of goddess points. Oh, there we go. Nat, it's a fucking, it's a 19. Hey, man, I almost forgot what show we were on. <laughs> Tell me, me one more time as well. You got a fleeting from Emerald. Oh, thank you very much, Emerald. And. Okay, so 19. <laughs> 10. 10. 19 plus 5, that is 24. Uh, yeah, I would say that looking at it, how many can we do? A D4 down It's equal to four. Every... every four numbers are on the die. I would say over the course of 20 minutes, we can take we can keep that as well. So that would mean that you could hit six at a time. Cool. You can make six bomb chews holy. Out of the ones that are here. There's way more than you could possibly ever enchant, but if you'd yes. like to stick here enchanting more, uh, just let me know, and we will. Oh, you're gonna let you would let me do that? Yeah, sure. I mean, we're just we're just getting some ammunition done. As long as that's used before uh, the end of the end of the day, the enchants would stay on. However, okay. again, you wouldn't be able to do other things if you enchanted more. Okay. Can you uh, think of anything else you'd else? like to do? Uh, I will heckin let Polo do her stuff while I think. Okay, Polo. Mm -hmm. Upon you being here, uh, was there anything you would like to do to aid in uh, trapping this area? You can use the Ophis to potentially move some of the munitions. You can use <coughs> um, uh, um, uh, you can use uh, Orion in the same way. Uh, if you have anything you could think of for traps, you can. I will say anything you do for traps will be rolled with advantage because you are a hunter. <gasps> yeah. Um... So we're just to make sure that I'm understanding, because I know we have to move the remaining bomb chews that are here. Um, Those are, are we... currently getting moved by Roman, we'll say as well. Yeah. Um, but there are way other just... munitions around. Yeah. So there's 
there's helping with that and then there's wanting to ensure that anything that gets in here goes boom right yes they're basically trying to lure that creature here so that whenever Ivori does their hell lightning for some reason I wonder <laughs> why she did that um, <laughs> whenever Ivori mm -hmm. does her hell lightning for some reason it gets hit with it yeah so it's I guess trying to ensure keeping it in this area um <clears throat> probably couldn't do it in 10 and 20 minutes I guess would be probably trying to close off any other routes it could escape from. You could do that. Uh, with the Emerald Eye yeah. and with your Opies especially, you can move things that are several times your weight. If you want to try to bring yeah. some debris and like start trying to like lock off some of the exits, you can definitely do that. Yeah, that's what she'll she'll do. She'll do. Okay. And <laughs> as for the actual trapping, because I will say that you could definitely help with that as well, because we I'm letting everybody <laughs> mm -hmm. do two things. Roll me mm -hmm. for your experience with advantage, please. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. <clears throat> 14. Oh, that is a 14. Two, 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 two. Gotcha. With a two in experience, that's a 16. And roll me that d20 you have in your hand again. Oh, damn. 17. Okay, so that'll be... Gotcha. Uh, have you thought of anything, Ronan? Uh, yes. Uh, I would like... Because uh, I was just looking at Obra's spell stuff. Um, her When she enchants something, it can do extra damage. Uh -huh. So I would like to have her get some of the bombs that I didn't get. Oh, definitely. Uh, what are you going to do, though? Yeah. Um, we're, we'll talk I... about the NPCs in a second too. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> then, uh, hmm. Where? I assume I could just ask him. Like, where would it need to? Where would the? Where would Ganon need to get for the actual things to go off? Like in the Deku tree. He thinks it would happen along the Deku tree. Yes, which would be a little bit away from here. It's not technically on the map, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, okay. As he tells you where things need to be, very easy. You guys can move things around that way. Okay. I was trying to think of a way if I could maybe use my, like, all of my solid cords at once to try to, like, knock him prone so that he's, <laughs> like, vulnerable to shit or whatever. The um, big problem with that is you guys aren't amazingly sure when the exact time the lightning's going to strike is. Yeah. You just know it's going to happen in around 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess with, without knowing the exact moment, then yeah, I think he'll just spend the rest of the time doing light magic and Obra can do her stuff as well to make it super. Okay. We'll do another six then. Uh, as that happens, I would like for you to roll me. Do -do -do. Yeah, get those out Give of me here. A second. Don't worry about it. don't worry about things yet. Uh gotta <laughs> You piece of shit. <laughs> Go ahead and roll me all those, please. You can't change the text color, can you? Nope. You piece of shit. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I can make them uh, yellow. You want, you want them yellow instead? It's too low. Do it now. Okay. Da -da. Let's see here. Yellow. Yeah. There you go. Now they're, I didn't now realize they're, how they're all yellow. Little that would actually change anything. Uh, that's. A 57. I've seen a few ones. There's a few ones, but there's a few sixes, though. It was a 10. 47? 47. It says 57 to me. That's weird. Yeah, I, I'm like going over them and then I'm, it says 57. Huh. Like you can I'm, look at the I'm stream. fine to go with your number. <laughs> <laughs> like you can look at the stream and it says 57. No, I believe you. <laughs> All righty. Uh, Ronan, you mm. have one fleeting. Do you want to reroll one of these dice? 
Sure, I'll go for I'll re-roll <laughs> one of the ones. Just to be Why fun. not? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, whoever did that. I'm sorry that it was. I'm sorry. Do it that again. I do it again. Do it again. It. That was so funny, but do it again. <laughs> I'll give very it to generous you. of you. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> 58, one more baby! 58 damage. Roll the, roll, reroll the other one. Reroll the other one. Why? Because I think God. it's funny. Ah, <laughs> oh, it almost went to two again. I would have been so happy. All right, we're, done. we're done. We're done. We're done. We're <laughs> done. Are we sticking with the yep. 58 then? We're sticking with, uh, with the now it says 63. Okay. <laughs> see, he wanted it to go to 69. I was oh, trying. Oh, I see. It's totally what I was doing. Dicks. I was trying, man. Um, all right. NPCs. Oprah is going mm. to enchant things. Yes. Uh, go ahead and roll for Oprah's magic very quick. They only get one thing they do. Where you guys got two, they only get one. Okay. That's pretty That's good. 16 plus, I believe, six, right? Yes. That's pretty fucking good. All right. So that would be five. 20. Five. Yeah, because it's 22. Uh, so they can do five. Da -da -da -da. Do, 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 do. Copy one, two, three, four, five, and all of theirs do extra damage, I believe. Extra d4 of damage. Yes. So one, two, three, four, and what damage? What da type of damage are they enchanting him with? Um, I'll go <clears throat> with hecking. I either, I, I either ice or fire. Um. Probably just fire. Fire? Okay. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Bloop. Run with those dice. Bleh. Really pretty good. good pretty actually. good. Heck yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to say, because we still need people to move things, I'm going to say that it's definitely not going to be Gallon. <laughs> Hosier and uh, Emerald Eye will do the moving of things with with our with our boy. Um, Had a very funny thought. Was that Hosier mm. blocking off ways to go by hitting trees with the top? <laughs> but uh, moving things is more important than the mm. funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that my top? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> All right. The three people remaining after that will be Gallon, Link, and Atalanta. Atalanta is also a hunter, so I'm just going to have them worry about getting the munitions together. Uh, what do we got? And then we'll roll one more time much better okay polo do you have anything you think gallon would want to do to set up any kind of any kind of trap or any kind of thing for whatever creature is coming or does he just want to get off like a preemptive strike on him when he shows up considering that he can't uh, doesn't have much access to his magic he would probably want to prepare something Okay. With okay. the time he has, because he currently doesn't the only have thing much he can to do, work with. Yeah, is his wind magic currently. Mm -hmm. Which also makes sense for Obera why they did fire, because I forgot about that. Yeah, I just realized <laughs> the ice probably wouldn't have worked. Ba -ba -ba -ba, you have restore and empower. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. If he's going to prepare something, we will have him mess about with this. He will not have advantage like you guys do because he's not a hunter. But he still rolls really fucking good. Holy shit. We gotta use Gallum. Okay. Da -ba -da -ba -da. 
and Link. I feel like I'm trying to think of anything Link would do other than literally just start fighting this thing as soon as it shows up. I'm pretty sure Link is going to try to go for a preemptive strike on this thing <laughs> when it appears. So while everybody's getting ready, before we know if it even works, we have to go on to the others. Hi, guys. Hi. You guys start making your way through the forest. Marco, Gorthos, is there anything you guys want to say to each other while you're moving through or anything you want to tell Phil? <laughs> we can do this. There's, we're not going to fail this. We can, we got this. Gorthos? I think he's still BRB'd. Oh. Oh no. Rip. I guess you guys die. Well, I guess we just fucking die. <clears throat> There's the thing we can do. We're just dead. Yeah, deader, deader than the, 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 than my grandpa. Ganon falls, everybody dies. Ganon falls, Emerald, everyone dies. Emerald, what'd you, what'd you, what'd you think? What'd you think of your, uh, your, 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 your pops here? Your good old dad. Dad's great. What the fuck, man? You've been gone so long trying to do this. <laughs> I, the, the way it was described, he I made the first attempt, failed, <laughs> went back to the future, came back to the past, <laughs> I tried again, probably at the exact same time that he had tried again, <laughs> but went a different path so he didn't run to the enemies that time. Oh. What's up? I just realized uh, when it says on my enchanting thing, it, that uh, if you use ammunition, then you also add a d4 of things. Oh, let's roll those. Yeah, and Obra says she has an extra d4, so I don't know if that means she rolls two d4 per per one, but... <laughs> I just want you to know how okay I am that you are rolling these. <laughs> yeah? Like, I'm, I, I just want you to know that. Is that is that you telling me that this is all in vain and nothing is nothing no, matters? No, that is not me saying that at all. Here are your four for for Obra. Oh, it should be five. Okay. Hold on. Which means you didn't roll one for. There you go. Roll me these six because Obra only rolled these four before. Oh, okay, cool. Bit. Good old dad, dying in the past. Well, more damage is pretty good. Not this time, bitch. Put him in the Not car. Believe me, I was very I tempted to immediately just throw him in the card. And bleh, let me go ahead and make this the same color. So we know <clears throat> what's going down. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Dope. There you go. <clears throat> well, that one did a little fucking break dance. That one's pretty good, though. That's 28 more damage. Fuck yeah. Ah. Uh, Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your, your dad conversation. I just realized I was just reading my cards. No, that's cool. Ronan's just like, Dear old you know, dad. I've never seen my dad either. <laughs> 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 I have a dad. Let's <laughs> fucking go. I, lo I love my dad. He's fucking great. He went into the ocean looking for other orchids. <laughs> That's why I wanted to get one from my from my from my fish tank. <laughs> he wanted to put his dad in his fish tank. If I got another orchid in my fish tank, maybe dad will come back. And then I immediately gained things to care about in life more than that. <laughs> I've never looked back. <laughs> You're just like, man, my goals were silly. <laughs> they sure were. He had nothing going on in his life until that day. <laughs> I mean, he had the, the king. 
<laughs> and in I mean, that, yeah, but he had nothing like no eventful things happening. It's like there was nothing going on in my life until, and then we just flashed back to you seeing over for the first time. I'm all out of love. Yeah, I'm so in love like... without you. <laughs> <clears throat> Marthos, you back? Thought I heard Anthony not? speak. Oh, back. Yeah, I'm back. back. So my, yeah, yeah, yeah. my microphone was having an issue, but yes, I'm here. Sorry. Okay. Ah. We are going to go back to Marco Gorthos. Marco Gorthos, as you guys are going through the woods, I would like to ask you, is there anything you guys would like to speak about? Or are hmm. we just going straight in? You could also talk to Phil if you want. I feel like Phil doesn't need to have a conversation. Phil's great. <laughs> I feel I feel like Phil is pretty content with his existence. I feel like you need to be mean, be nicer to Phil. Says so Phil. I feel I feel <laughs> like you don't treat Phil good enough. So Says we're Phil. I feel like going... Phil deserves more. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, we're going against what uh you said the warrior wanted us to do, essentially. <laughs> well, she warned. She warned against us engaging in a prolonged form of combat. We are simply luring it away from the others to lend a decisive strike against it for future combats to be easier. Hmm. Very different. It's not different. It's the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to work on find find some form of plausible deniability with her. No, it's never worked. Yet. I wasn't gonna just let my dad die again. Mm, we are not letting that happen. Besides, he needs to answer to my older sister, so they're gonna be even more mad than me. Hmm. <sighs> You must have some very strong feelings right now. Mm. I do, yes. Do you hate him? It's a hard question to answer. Despite not knowing him that well because he was gone from my life so soon, I can't. I hate that I see so much of myself in him and what he's doing. <laughs> he has good intentions, a bit overzealous, but good. Attention. They're mm. very similar. Mm. And you're both far more similar to your grandfather than I think you than, than he thinks either of you realize. More than likely. But something's on my mind, Gorthos. Mm -hmm. We're doing so many things. Mm. And we've essentially Broken time several times at this point. Uh, to be honest, but continue. And I, and I understand that, you know, time's time. It'll sort itself out somehow, but... I've just got a nagging feeling that at some point we're going to get our comeuppance for everything we've done. The consequences to our actions, you know? Oh, he knows. No good deed ever goes unpunished, Marco. That's why I'm afraid that even when we do this, something's still gonna happen to Dad. This will not come to pass. We keep saying we break time. We... Mm -hmm meddle in things that we shouldn't, but 
Perhaps it is not so simple. Perhaps this is exactly what we've always needed to do. Perhaps we're just playing through fate's cruel cycle. Or if he and Zelda's and Tompei's belief holds any true weight in this world, fate really has nothing on us. We have always been able to plot our own course. We make our decision go. And if the decision is to ensure that your father and everyone else that we can save will see tomorrow, then we will do all we can to ensure it happens. You guys you... hear a large shattering explosion in front of you. As you do, the cries of monsters all around seem to let out a victorious howl. You're not far off from your destination. You can continue if you want. Are you ready to see what a thousand years ago was like facing off against evil? Yeah. You may not be, but he appreciates your confidence. He's not ready either. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Well, it's time to be heroes. As you guys make your way out from the trees, you find yourselves in a very dark part of the woods. You see scars from the battle happen all around. You see monster parts as well as unfortunate other pieces around you. You hear a familiar yell, Gorthos and Marco. As you hear a familiar yell in front of you, What was that? You hear a loud get back. Hmm. As you do, you recognize the tones of the boulder. Much younger than he is. Hmm. As you step out into a clearing, you find a creature standing in the center of all this gore viscera and everything laughing its shoulders moving along with its chuckles as it watches something dart off into the woods it looks to go to chase them However, it stops, and with a very pig-like snort, it looks back. Marco, you recognize this creature, but it is far larger and far more armored than it was before. Makes Orphans, sense. 
you recognize this creature. Mm. That's not fair. That's too cool. No, we'll do. Okay. <laughs> yep. Give me one second. Hey, he just more those his head. Is it out? He's going like a mix of dark nut and goblin. He's got a he's got a knight's Christ on his belt. Give me one Momo, trying to find a thing. brother. There we go. As you look. Toward this creature. Blade in hand that seems to be several times the size of your horse. He turns, his horn showing even beyond the tops of the trees. As it looks back over towards you, Again, there is a snort. You followed me this far. Hey, a new guy. Did you know what the fantasy He'd follow you to the very depths of hell. Yorthos pulls out his little slingshot and just pulls back a Koroxy. I've already dealt with you in this time. Seems I have to deal with you now. Again. You'll find the times have changed, um, Ganon. Ganon. No. That is not who I am. You speak of what they want me to be. I Humor. am not Ganon. I am free. What are you called, then? <laughs> I think I'll take up the name. Well, since you discarded it, I think I'll have people start to call me Gorthos. It's not like you'll be using it. You <laughs> will regret this decision. Who else is going to let loose a Koroxy? <laughs> and Marker will throw a bomb. You guys start trying to throw things at him. As you do, the Korok seed hits him, the bomb hits him. He doesn't seem to move upon either of them striking him. He draws the blade, which again, the blade of which is around three times the side of your horse. As he looks to you both, upon this being drawn, Gorthos, you feel, mm -hmm. you feel a pain as soon as you see this blade, your hand absent-mindedly goes to your neck. Well, he just catches that like, hmm? Oh. Afraid. I guess I did just behead you. <laughs> 
He looks, he, I think about now he notices the skull on the back. Is that my head? <laughs> you have to work on your aim. It didn't quite catch, did it? It seemed to go limp. I know that you're still out there. But this is a fine souvenir. He thinks he'll take this it wasn't from made you. for you. This was made for someone far more annoying than you. You'll He's find few oh, so yourself? He scrapes the sword upon the ground. Maybe do us all the favor? The ones who will be stained their blood in this blade will be the brat. Right, the brat. Marco pulls out the master sword. <laughs> Are you saying? I guess he's right here, you? isn't he? Roll me. <laughs> I need you to roll me for your charm, please. If you're trying anyway, to say that you're Link. <laughs> anyway, bam. Uh, after all, I, after all. Uh, bam. The blade of evil's bane is never too far behind Gorthos. <laughs> uh, bam. So basically, I'm hoping to uh, make this at least a three charm with these compounds. <laughs> I don't know. You have one fleeting. <laughs> Chat, I've never needed your energy more in my entire <laughs> life than now. <laughs> I'll put in three. Oh, if this works, it's going to be so funny. <laughs> I mean, I gotta drag him to the fucking place somehow. I mean, if you're using this, you don't have to use this. Ah, okay. This is just an automatic version of that. Oh, sick. Well, cool. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. You have a plus five plus your Ooh. one. That's plus one two. charm. Sixteen. First roll. Third Ignore level. that. Ignore that. Come on. 15. Ten. One more. Uh -huh. Only two more times. Oh. Last, last one. Come on. Come on. 16 was the highest I rolled. 16 plus 7. Pretty good. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'll have them roll. I'm gonna reroll that. Oh, Bitch. yeah. <laughs> Not unless I use a goddess point, so you can't. Oh, I don't well. know if I can. You can, I but I, I have can. a lot. You have a lot. There's a lot. It's up to you. It's up to you if you want to play that game. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> You're gonna play it? I mean, I'm. I have a lot. I have a lot. All right. How many are you putting in? How many are you putting in? <laughs> How many are you putting in? What's in the box? You know what? <laughs> How about this? I will put an amount inside of a bag. I'll okay. give you a bag. You put an amount in that bag. And we will see who wins. Well, I have a bag that I can put them in. I'm going to give you a bag. Oh, you have that bag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Marco's game. I will not look at your bag. I'm looking over at mine. You need to find me a bag first. Let me get one. Oh, no, no I have a red one right here that he was in. <laughs> Man, yeah, it's just. Uh, I deleted I my, my first one, so I'm just going to go ahead and give myself back that one. I'm going to put some in here, and we will see who put I put more that amount inside. In. 
They can't look. It's so suspenseful. All right, you're done then? I'm done. I will bring over mine. And we'll see just how many we each have. You have more? Shit, yeah, oh, yeah. let's go. <laughs> I will say Fuck that he you. will not reroll that. Fuck yeah. Worth it. He looks to you. Uh, you seem different. But I know you, don't I? <laughs> yeah, we met once before. <sighs> well, or twice. I'm glad to be killing you now. With this blade, let your reincarnation come to an end. He's going to start chasing after you guys. We are he going. immediately has Phil run off. We are going into a chase. Chase time. <laughs> Chasing. <laughs> Phil is very fast. But you guys are in the Lost Woods. If you mm -hmm. plan to go back to where you were going at, you have to take very specific turns to get back there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you yep. will end up somewhere completely different. Yep. Yeah, that would be awkward. <laughs> All he has to do is chase you. That's it. Yep. Yeah. We just can't I'm gonna fuck bring, out. I'm going to bring over Satan's die of fuck, apparently. Satan's curse die of fuck. That's mine. Oh. That's the one I'm using. <laughs> well, as a Kokiri. <laughs> and seeing as how there is another person displaced in time, I think I can safely guide us back to the tree. I mean, here's the thing. You know the way back. It's just not the best as far as keeping yourself fast. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you have to take very specific turns. Which means the two of you theme. are going to have to figure out how to hold him and his monsters apparently off during this chase. As the two of you rush off into the forest, let me get a better. Let me get. Let me get a good. Let me get a good battle theme going. Let me get a. We'll do this one. Yeah, that's fine. As you guys rush through the woods. You hear the cackling once again of the different monsters around the area. You see Bokoblins start to show themselves in the in the in the uh, different areas. You see keys start flying all around. You hear the stomps of this creature apparently calling himself Gorthos from behind. As you guys are rushing forward, Gorthos. Mm hmm. If things turn bad, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you for your slingshot. Oh, Marco, if. Promise me you'll give it, to give that, and a Korok seat to me. Lee, if you promise that you'll come back alive. Hmm. I will remind you guys, whenever you hit him with the slingshot before, he seemed to just completely be ineffective by it. It was more of the principle than the actual fight. I'm just letting you know. Yeah. I have different plans, don't worry. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> As you guys start making your way through, <laughs> you take your first turn. Upon taking your first turn, in front of you, you see a large amount, almost in a very nice triangle shape, of 10 bacoblins in front of you. As each, of them, as each of them as each of them show themselves in their nice little triangle shape, you want to use your you want to use your bomb chew. I'd like to use a bomb chew. There is a lot of these guys. One bomb <laughs> chew will probably not hit all of them. How many bomb chews would you like to let loose? Uh, I've already used one bomb chew of my seventeen, so I will use. Fuck it! I'll go big or go home. I'll use three. Three bomb chews, okay. Mm. As you throw out your three bomb chews, I would like you to please roll me for your diligence, please. 
<gasps> my ditty chats. You can do it. Get them. First up. Oh no. Come on, no. Come on. Don't be a bad roll, please. Roll me three more times. Good. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> All right. I like holding note to the last minute. Um, <laughs> two. And then final one. Seven, Seven oh, the highest. Plus six. Let's go. <laughs> As you strike out with your three bomb shoes, I will say the first hurdle is over. Uh, in their nice little bowling pin shape that they have for you, uh, you send out three <laughs> bomb chews through and you trample through the remainder as they do explode. You note that Phil does not even wince. He's Phil's a, a champ. Just Phil, is, for Phil, is, Phil is the dad for all of your other horses. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm aware. Dad horse. I haven't seen this horse in years. I'm like, ah, Phil, so good to see you again. Dad of horse. Well, <laughs> to be, this uh, Phil is the horse that uh, your grandfather used. I know. <laughs> oh, it's I'm the well, oh, it's, well it's, aware. It's, it's the most. It's the penultimate badass horse. That's why <laughs> Grandpa died. Is that he sent his horse and his son to the future? Mm -hmm. Man. The horse. I'm gonna roll for Gorthos. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking twist really your dick you off your body. Like Thorog or whatever. 19. Oh, oh that's not good. You hear laughing emanating throughout the entire area. You hear it so loud that it is starting to mess with the three of you. I need the three of you to roll me for your resistance because the laughter is so loud, it's actually starting to hurt. All right, resistance by three. Yeah, not a huge number over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so gonna go ahead First and roll. That's a five, okay, and the last two. 15 with two, so 17. And Marco? First roll, ah, 10, second roll, 7, 10, 13. I'm going to roll for Phil. Come on, horse. Phil You're such a cool horse. We'll have advantage on their roll. Okay. Hey. Phil's resistance. Phil is the only one to pass. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I would like for the two of you to take two damage. Mm. No, sword beam. As you take your two damage, you will also <laughs> take a negative three to your instinct checks. Oh, Jesus. As this man is laughing his ass off behind you, you take another turn. Phil just barely hanging on, remembering the direction himself, so you guys didn't have to give him the direction. Phil lets out a uh, a a victorious whinny and jumps over a fallen log. As he does, jumping into the next path, you see what appears to be a large amount of bokoblins, just like before. However. Fl uh, flying above them, you see what appears to be a group of what appears to be around 10 keys all bundled no. up together like a cloud. Oh, shit. Be very uh, intimidating. <laughs> cloud of cle a cloud of keys. Cleese, like, <laughs> if you will. Please. But there are still several Bokoblin in a nice triangle shape in front of you, looking like they're about to jump the horse as well. Uh, I guess another two bomb. <laughs> Gorothos would try and shoot the keys with the Korok seed because the impact explode. You could definitely do such a thing. You're going to use two bombs on the on these Bokoblins. Yee. Roll me diligence and also diligence from you. Both of you diligence. 
Diligence. 18. One, seven. That's a. That's a, a fucking 12. With a 12. Some of them do not explode. That is way too victorious for you right now. Hold on. Mm. We'll do this one. Huh. It's not bad. Well, that's a hold, on. hold on, hold on. That's hold a on. 12. That's a good one. That one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, as you would find that some of the well, hobgoblins do not fall down. However, the impact of the uh, of the uh, Korok seed does seem to disperse the cloud of keys. As you guys run over the Bokoblins, three of them who are remaining are going to attempt to jump onto Phil. You see them trying to bash Phil. I pull out the Master Sword. Well, they are going to get their attacks first. Damn. Because they are alive and you did your thing. How dare, how dare they do? How dare they? How dare they? I'm the player here. How dare they do thing? <laughs> I would like to really quickly, Deco. What's that? Use um I would like to burn one of our hero points to get back my four bonds of Gorthos. Oh yeah. All my attacks have overwhelmed. Um oh. it's like we can do that. We can I can burn one of these too. You can do that, yeah. Deco. Get them. And it says any increase or reduce a roll made within his presence. Yes. There are going to be three attacks the... coming. Well, looks like there's going to be three bonds used then. Let's see what they I'm going to roll their attacks first. Of course. Bring the three dice over here. Okay. I'm going to roll all three of these attacks. Where would you like to throw these? Uh, well, I have to roll them all first. Um, but I think I'm just gonna leave them like this. Let's see what this does. Okay. Only fair, after all. The only one I had to worry about was the center one. These two have failed. Yeah. The center one is lowered by two. Looking over at Phil's defense. All three of them seem to start bashing onto Phil. Phil literally just brings his head back and bashes outward, knocking one of them away. And then he seems to bite the other one's um, uh, the other one's um, uh, club and bites through it. Jesus. <laughs> the this final one, as it jumped up, the final one, as it jumped up. He seems to stop and once again just lowers his head and lifts it up, knocking him into the air before going forward. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it worked. Bill's doing they're not best. war horses in the sense that they warriors ride them into battle. No, they're war horses in the sense that they fight the wars. I am the war. <laughs> <laughs> this is old school fucking horses. We're Scary gonna roll horses. For Gorthos, quote unquote. I hate that so much. <laughs> I hate you so much. He is going to keep chasing after you. However, as he does so, the laughter gets louder and louder. It starts echoing throughout this place, but it is not hurting you this time. It just seems to be echoing Yay. through. Those of you who are about the other place, you guys hear the sounds of something large echoing throughout this place, laughing. You can hear it from where you are. You guys know that something is coming. All right, we should get clear of the blast zone. Marco Gorkos, yeah. you guys yeah. make your way through as you mm -hmm. do. You pass by what appears to be a moblin. As you hold, as you see this moblin, he appears to be holding onto a body. He has a body of a Goron in his hand as he throws it toward all of you. <laughs> as he starts, th as he throws this to the th uh, to um, uh, to you, I would like to know: Is there anything you guys would like to do to try to do a an avoidance of this? 
Yeah. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna fire a couple, like two Korok seeds at once to add it, to knock it away. You can it's attempt a big rock. to do that. Marco, is there anything you'd okay. like to do as you're getting attacked by a moblin, throwing a throwing a Goron, alive or dead, who knows, at you? Um. Uh. I. Hmm. Could I try to use charges of the quick medallion to um. Warps like a bit of earth to come up to block it. I know I don't know if I'm a chosen wielder, but with the quake medallion, you could definitely put something into it. You have tremors that are coming out from it. If you'd like, you can use it to try to increase the power, <laughs> the the shock wavy power of the Korok seeds. Sure, I will use charges to do that. Okay, I will give you advantage, then, Gorthos. I will cool. use, I guess, two charges, or how many charges do you think would be worth it? For each charge, I'll give him another. I'll give him another dice. Oh, I will do three then. Gorthos, these are your yeah. four shots at hitting. Let's fucking go then. Nineteen, 19. with. You try to fire two of them. It is difficult and you feel like you need to just fire the other one. You're not trained in doing more than one. So unfortunately you cannot do more than one. However, mm -hmm. as you pull back the slingshot to fire off one of them toward them, you do find as it hits, Marco shines out with the medallion and a large cracking earth sound is heard as you do not only stop them from hitting you with the Goron, instead of hitting the Goron, you knock the Moblin back, making him throw off center. As the moblin tumbles back, you guys go forward. I'm gonna roll one more time for this. Bad roll, bad roll, bad roll, bad roll. Yes. I guess, I, I guess I'll use one of these. Fuck. Oh. Ah, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you dirty bitch. You son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if there's any NPC to use uh -oh. these. It's, it's fucking this one. Uh-oh. There is no running from me, brat. <laughs> As you guys hear the sounds of stopping behind you, as you do, there is a breaking sound. And all of a sudden, Marco and Gorthos, looking back behind you, you see crashing through things behind you a log moving extremely quickly through other logs and trees uh, uh, uh. <laughs> as he is going to try to bowl you guys now uh oh is there anything you guys would like to do to avoid Jeez. this high speed log that is tearing uh, its way through the forest uh uh, oh no! Never be. Wait. Uh, oh no! What? Whatever they're called, the the, the tree enemy in <laughs> Zelda. Uh, yeah. Um, Gorthos has a thought. Um, the the rocks feather gives people high jump, right? Yep. Gorthos plucks the feather out of Marco's <laughs> cap and puts it in the mane of the horse. <laughs> 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 You're right. Jump. Phil, jump. <laughs> Phil, I can jump. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking why not? I'm the <laughs> Fucking why not, dude? All right. That's amazing. <laughs> Phil, it's all up to you. I'll give you one extra dice because of the feather. You were going to try to maneuver your way through and get away there, from the danger. There is a roll Wait. in my presence. There's a roll made in my not presence. Not only. Not only the feather, the hover hat. You put you the, put hover, the hat hover hat. Put the whole thing on his head. I didn't even think about it. 13, hover hat and feather combo. Let's go. Add two onto that. Go ahead and roll me a d6, Marco, for the hover hat. Oh, here. You can use. 
D6. D6, okay. Wherever you put it. I don't know where you put it. I don't oh, see where he put I, it. I'm just. Oh, I got, where the fuck? Why is it over? The who? What the what? Anyway. Uh, four. Hey. That would have been 13 plus 2 to 15. Plus 4. Mm -hmm. Been 19. That's not enough to beat it. But luckily we haven't mm -hmm. we haven't established we haven't put in his own stats yet. <laughs> uh, oh fuck you. <laughs> Which, by the way, for physique is five. What a good horse. <laughs> oh yeah. As Phil racing forward, new hat on head, little feather in hat, <laughs> <laughs> is told to jump, looks back. As he jumps, the flurry rush animation comes out. <laughs> As he <laughs> fucking rotates in the air. <laughs> As he does this rotation fucking dodge in the air, he lands and speeds off. As he goes to speed off, he jumps over once again the log in front of him when it comes to a stop. I don't see how you guys aren't back yet. <laughs> that was sick with that phil, was a fucking clutch move with phil doing his absolute fucking horsey best you guys come running toward where the great tree once stood as you guys go forward you are still right at the edge of it you look back you see him point his blade towards you. <laughs> Enough of that. Right on the edge, a moat of darkness appears at the tip of his blade. Oh no. As it does, <laughs> you guys feel strain coming from you. Uh, Marco will attempt to absorb it. Oh. Oh. It is not a curse. I can take in magic. You can take in magic. Marco. Roll me. <sighs> for your magic, please. Oh, what's your ma boy. what's your magic again too? Okay. Um I'd like, <laughs> I'd like to burn another hero point. <laughs> I, mean, I was gonna burn a hero point myself. You can burn a hero point. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that and uh these guys, yeah. Marco. I'm just gonna stack the deck. <laughs> oh, is that go? I'm putting an amount of demon tokens into the bag. Oh, you oh here, here oh, we fuck. go. Here we go. It's the side time. Is he over or under? I have not put in any yet. Let me know when you do. Cons consider. All right. Oh, I put man. in a number. Marco. Roll me one time. Oh, I put fuck. in eight. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. He really doesn't want you getting it. There's the, there's the thing just to show you. I brought it right over. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 I see, I see. Uh, just to be sure on this, do I have overwhelm on this or no? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Only higher. once. There's no... 11. Two, double the two, four, uh, 17. Hmm. Oh no. Marco, you try to absorb it. Wait, is shouldn't it be spirit? I said magic. Yeah, you said yeah. magic. Fuck. This is not a spell. I was only letting you try because of 
me wanting you to yeah. try. <laughs> okay. This is I something he's doing through his sword. <laughs> As you feel something pulling against you, the three of you feel this pressure behind you. Marco, you try to absorb it. <clears throat> As you do, yeah. you immediately absorb a just unhealthy amount of demonic uh, pressure inside of you. You absorb not magic, but pure malice. Oh no. Which oh. for you as a Hylian is very bad. So Marco I... almost passes <laughs> out. Marco, roll me, resili roll me resistance. Come on. Uh, 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 you, you have, uh, because I didn't let you use it for the last one, you have one fleeting. Awesome. I'll roll. First oh. one. <laughs> roll is a seven. Third roll. Oh, fuck. Two. No, Come on. Roll. Think, think, think. Final roll. 19! Oh. Marco, you do not pass out. You will. Take some damage. You will take half of your health and damage, which is to say you will take four. You are down to two health, but you are not out. Gorthos, as you see Marco almost fall off, you grab him. You guys take note. Phil isn't even able to move. Whatever this is, is pulling you guys back toward him. He's laughing the entire way. Thanks, too. Gorthos. Hand me the... Hand me the thing. Now, to end both of your reincarnations. He... He, he has here. Marco. He has on the slingshot. Marco. You turn... You hold the slingshot aloft. As you see the blade rising rising up, you guys going into it. You notice something else. As you go what to aim, notice? Marco. You notice something coming up behind this moblin. As you see, a figure with a skeletal face. Oh my God. Diving out from the tree line. You see one of the other bodies of Gorthos. <laughs> like he said, whenever he decapitated him, you went limp right before I decapitated you. He did, I did the thing! <laughs> oh, fuck! I did the stall thing! <laughs> Just so you know, Deco. Yeah. Uh, there's a look. specific piece of ammo in this, uh, <coughs> in the slingshot. What was it? It's the clarity card. He's aiming with the sword. <laughs> You're gonna try to clarity card him. It would have been I'm funny. It would, clarity it, card the been, sword. it would have been funny. It wouldn't have worked, but it would have been so funny. Also, isn't oh. the sword kind of the key to the plan? Because that's what's cursing him, or it wouldn't have. He can't unequip it. Yeah. Uh, okay. He is. It is, it is something he I, literally. I he was... It is something he literally cannot drop. Not because he doesn't want to but because it is bound to him. It is basically a part of him now. Oh, jeez. So but that would have attempted to get him very interesting at the though. same time. And very, that yeah. very interesting idea, though. I will give you that. Well, that's what my old trip used to be like. As diving out from the forest, Gorthos, you yeah, return. As you tackle <laughs> him, Gorthos, 
you open up your jaw letting it fall down as you let out this large amount of what you know to be Ivory's hell flame out from your gut onto Whoa. this man Burn! you guys are released from your gravity bind that was happening to you Gorthos, you see Gorthos. <laughs> uh, Gorthos just a uh, small Gorthos yells. Uh, uh, this is gonna be hard for me. Hold on. <laughs> that's why. That's why I also said sorry. To, that's why I also said sorry to you earlier. Yeah, I need to find myself. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't give you right time there. to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay. Small dwarf on the horse says, uh, <clears throat> quickly to the tree! As he, uh, Marco's probably, you know, not yeah. able to, he just kind of kicks low, it's like, yeah! Also, yeah. yes, also, yes, chat. Uh, <laughs> if you were to look at this man's... His skull. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is the same, it's technically backwards Different, a little bit. But but it is the same skull as what Gorthos had in the beginning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so many demon heroes. Yeah, funny how it works. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Gorthos will yell to Gorthos to get to the tree. Gorthos, you hear a small, a small familiar voice yelling to you. Was that Atalanta? <laughs> <laughs> Gorthos huh. can't even recognize Gorthos. <laughs> yelling to you to get to the tree uh i was like hey that's atlanta hey that's phil hey who's that <laughs> hey fuck it uh he will uh he'll, he will he'll stop belching fire at, at dan <laughs> here um and uh start he's gonna go he's gonna probably try to pick up the fucking horse and run with it <laughs> Gorthos, you run as you do, as you try to pick up Phil. Phil's fast. <laughs> you can't right. catch Phil. You two are right. rushing beside each other. You're not going any faster than Phil, so grabbing him does not mean anything. I don't think I don't think his other body moves that fast. <laughs> you're able, like you're taking strides with these long legs. <laughs> as you are stepping through, those of you who are back. You guys see Phil, Gorthos, and Marco being chased down by a demonic skeleton. One that we have definitely seen before <laughs> and know what it means. <laughs> Double Gorthos action, let's go. <laughs> what a time to be alive. <laughs> As you guys rush there and do not attack Gorthos, because I guess that's fine. <laughs> uh, at this, listen, if this was like session five, maybe they'd be a little paranoid about it, but come on. <laughs> I think I've desensitized this whole group to stalls. <laughs> Gorthos, you step forward. You look, you look around toward the people in front of you. Is that fucking Zelda? <laughs> so, he just, you know, this looks around. Zelda. Zelda. Atalanta. And Atalanta looks to Atalanta. Marcus, you're so old. <laughs> what happened to your eye? Uh, not the top. Uh, not enough time to explain everything. <laughs> mm. uh, he looks behind him. A great, small, unknown Gora looking Zora. <laughs> he looks so familiar. If only. Could it be? <laughs> mm. The others are gone, but it's nice to see some people still here. Uh, Please. Uh, eventually, Ivo Miss Ivory will attack this place with lightning. We need to get him near the munitions. Mm. My father, my father said that whatever damage he sustains, he will never be able to recover. <laughs> oh, he hopes that hellfire sticks then. As well, you guys what are we waiting for? Here, from off in the distance, just a grumbling uh, coming from the other side. Like, he's just like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a demon man, but then I got hurt by hellfire. That hurt. Why hurt me? I'm demon. As 
you guys get around to here. Gorthos. <laughs> Which? <laughs> Do I mean you, you, or this one? <laughs> I hate you. There's three of them now. <laughs> Why are they three? I, I did, I There's three? There's so say... many Gorthi. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even say let's find out. <laughs> As you guys get around, you see the creature standing up. He starts to rush his way over to you, holding the blade out. We don't know when he's going to do it. Or we don't know when Ivor is going to strike. It could be any moment now. Indeed. The big one cracks his knuckles. We just need to hold off until then. (laughs) Or not. Running. Looks over to (laughs) Anna. If you do it right now. She looks over toward where the munitions are, looks back toward the medallion. (laughs) I know I said it didn't have to happen, but I think it might be for the best in this case. As there are a bunch of us here, you won't die from it. We won't let that happen, at least. As she brings the medallion forward. Just get him over here, then. Come on, dipshit. Come at me. Marco will pull the horse up and, like, grandstand out here. Waving around the master sword. As... Big one, like, what the? <laughs> It's oh, a yeah. very long story. Yeah, I'm letting him borrow Link. it. <laughs> Link. Link. <laughs> uh, he hates the lost ones. <laughs> there, there are three other options too to that. Mm-hmm. Gorthos hates the lost ones. Uh, Gorthos agrees. If you guys, Gorthos. <laughs> if you guys are planning to set off the munitions now. You guys will all be caught in it. Oh. As I told you guys before, you guys now know why the Kokiri live in a crater. Right. Mm. Correct. I would like to know <coughs> how you guys want to avoid the damage and as this thing is coming to you. Because this is a good plan. Mm. I want to know how you guys are going to get everyone out if that mm. is the case. Biting this thing, you guys know, is bad. Impossible. <laughs> yes. Um, but mm. if you want munitions to explode now, how are each of you getting out? How do we know roughly like where the blast radius ends, right? You've been there. You've been, you've been around there a lot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So how far, how far in in like feet would you say that that is? I would say that you guys, I would say that you guys Mm. would uh, would Um, need to get probably around three to 400 feet away. Sick. That's horrifying. Question. Um, (laughs) There's a lot of munitions here. Yeah. You guys were uh, very, you guys were very ready for this fight, but then the guy who brought you munitions had to get his son out. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had enough ordinance to level a small continent. Um question. Um well more first statement. Fuck the lost woods. Question. Um mm-hmm. We're at the Deku tree. Essentially. A little bit off from it, but yes. Where's our door? <laughs> it hasn't been made yet, has it? Does that matter? In currently, the lost woods? Currently, yes, it has not been made yet. Mm. You are in a different place, technically. Ronan, how fast can you cast your teleportation mm. song? Oh. Uh, well, with, with Link and Z here, that helps with that. But I don't know how much it helps, because it takes an hour to do the teleportation <laughs> normally. Which teleportation uh, are you trying to get to as well? Uh, 
Well, because going too far away in any direction could be bad as well. Yeah. So you would most likely have to teleport to the uh, forest temple. The forest temple. To stay inside. It would get us woods. out of the blast radius. Is the thing I'm concerned about. It would. About, but if you could somehow get it to work, you definitely could do that. With the uh, the fairy heart cuts the time in half, right? Yes. And then minutes. each additional performer does what after that? With group recital, da, 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 I believe doubles uh, or re reduces the direction effect or bonus and check roll for an ability. Uh, it would just have to, it would just reduce it. It would reduce it probably two to two, let me check. By half time, yes, if three or more go. So it would be half and then half. It'd be about 15 minutes with three people. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, a, that's a little too still long. Still a lot. those <laughs> time stone? Can you speed him up? <laughs> yeah, only the time stone. I mean, the time time. Stone, oh, hold on. The time stone goes backwards. Yes. Majin is a time demon, and I have his mass. If you would like to attempt to use the Majin mass to do this, who has the so and who has the ocarina of time again? Uh, it would be Link right now. Yes. Okay. If you would like to do this, I will say, depending on roles, it could be too much for the Majin Mask, but it might work. If, we could, if I could not use to mention, use... you guys have several artifacts of time on you right now. You yes. have the Ocarina of Time. You have the Time Stone uh, medallion you use. You have mm -hmm. the uh, you have uh, uh, the mask. As well, you have the Tome of Time from Galen. Mm -hmm. I Question. would say this is something you could. Cast the Twisted Song of Time with it. I would say that this is something you could do, but again, it could be too much for the mask. Depending on rolls, you may lose it. Also, uh, Heckin mm. Squeaky, were you gonna Heckin say something before? Oh uh, no! I was only saying that the time stone went backwards. Yeah, oh, I wasn't sure how it was gonna help us in this instance. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. That's why channeling all this through Majin's mask is something that could work, but I don't know. And I don't know how I can think of it. It's any sort of escape plan with using using Ophi. Ophi can just go into the dirt and be a shadow. I can't. Yeah, Ophi's just a part of you. Ofi, hmm. Ofi, Ofi's good. Ofi can, Ofi, Ofi can protect you, <laughs> and yes. you can protect Ofi, more like. Hmm. Um, I doubt that it'd help. Uh, I, I have, um, I think, think. It's what can Big could, Me do? What, it's something what can that Big could work. Me do? It could work. What can Big Me do? Big U is probably going to start throwing and attacking this man's because you guys are planning things that need time. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going to throw some hands. Um, Big U is probably very pissed at this thing at the moment because Big U is, is still in the day that this thing showed up and wrecked everything. Yeah, no, he's... Uh, <laughs> let's let's let that one run uh, free Big for U a minute. Big U notices this thing is holding his head on his waist like a trophy. <laughs> You got, the big one just like, you got to work on your aim. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, if that's something you want to try. Gorthos the prequel. <laughs> 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 yes, I, I want to risk Majin's map. I want to see if we can use the power of Majin to fuck Ganon. That'd be fucking sick. He's dead, what does he care? <laughs> you guys could get out of here. Yeah. It would rely then on Big Gorthos to get him in the area he needs to be in. I would like to first have Ronan mm. roll me for their diligence. Okay. Because you are trying to play faster than you've ever tried. <laughs> you, know, you should probably also take one of these as well. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, you're trying to I jam have. harder than you've ever jammed. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think I have time to switch into the wizard body <laughs> to increase my magic stats. There's no time. No. You can't. Can, wait, can you use these in addition to this? It doesn't do anything. 
Okay, gotcha. Yeah, all those do is double your your stat roll. It doing doing more doesn't double it further. Cool. <clears throat> all right. Ten. Eight. Eight again. You have one fleeting. Oh, thank you, whoever did that. You're welcome. So the highest was 10, so plus sure. my diligence and the hero point would be 20. As you play faster than you've ever played. Hmm. We also see Z screeching out as much as they can. Link has the ocarina going as as trying to stay with you as fast as they can. This is all reliant on the Majin Mask. Galen is going to attempt to aid with the uh, with the uh, Tome of Time. Squeaky, would you please roll me a d6, please? D6. Well done. Roll me one more time. What? <clears throat> Would you like Ooh. to have the one or the six? The six. <laughs> Gorthos, you will have Bye. a plus six as Galen is currently chanting behind with one of the hymns of so the plus. goddess of time. So that's a seven because Majin Mask. I do want to ask, I have to ask, because uh -huh. my curiosity burns. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to try to pull off the, the puppet thing? right now for the wizard body or is that too much currently i don't think it's possible that's fair because the, the body had, is I not out ask. the body's in your uh, in your bag and you have no idea of knowing if it would work or not yeah there's no time <laughs> yeah ironic ironic <laughs> um you'll so have plus a seven. plus seven for this roll there is one last thing I want to ask you. What's that? Can I bless the mask with the power of fairies? What do you want? To, what do you want to do with that? I want to because Z is here and all that. Uh, Z's the the timey wimey, right? I'm not getting them confused with someone else. They have some timey wimey stuff. Cool. I want to enhance the Majin Mask with the power of time magic, and be, since we're in the Lost Woods, and since a shard of the Great Fairy is here and casting their own magics, I feel like other fairy energies could maybe empower the mask for this Hail Mary. Roll the dice that I tell you to roll, okay. and... We will see if Z has anything they can do to aid you if they need. Okay. First things first. Uh, I need you to roll me for your magic. Okay. I would use a hero point, but I'm zero. <laughs> you can't double zero. You don't work that way. Um. Pray you to your use, goddess. Do you want to use any goddess points? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> We have used up so many of them. We had so many at the start of this session, and they're if almost need, all gone. If ever we needed God, it's now. <laughs> it's true. Are you seeing what's behind us? Ten. Ten. Satan is Ten. charging Ten. us in the middle of the forest. Four. Off. Come on, come on. Eight. <laughs> Stop getting numbers Last next to twenty. Roll. Come on. Come on. Is what I would say if you didn't have one flea. <laughs> I won't push you. I'll so you hard. Your nuts will fly out of your fucking scalp. With a 14. 14. 14. Plus your seven. That is a 21. Blackjack, baby. I need you to roll me a d20 and tell me odds or evens. Oh. Uh. 
Uh, statistically speaking, there's te well, technically more odds than evens on these things, right? Uh, <laughs> odds! And odds, baby! Hey. Yeah, baby! The mask is able to stand the magical energy pouring through it. As this happens, Ronan. Hmm. You're able to get the people here away. However, if your plan is to work, I need to know if you're going to do what is needed. First off, Big Gorthos still needs to lure it toward the uh, toward the tree. Second off, someone needs to strike this place with lightning. Hmm. Do you take Atalanta or do you leave Atalanta? I have an idea. Yep. What's your idea? I have a lightning arrow. Well, yes, but we're, we're leaving the, right the now. The point is that whoever needs to, whoever's going to hit it has to stay behind. Yeah. Um, we're not leaving you behind. <laughs> that is very but fun. He'll, he'll turn back to Obra and be like, Obra, send her away. Points over to uh, Anna. And he'll have her use her teleportation magic on her exclusively to send her very far away beyond the blast radius, but still within sight of the tree. As I mentioned, that usually only works with Obra doing it specifically on themselves. Oh, on herself? Yes. Fucking uh, um, dicks. Uh, if, if, if I may make a suggestion, mm -hmm. hmm. doesn't she still have delayed blast? She doesn't have uh, electricity, though. Hmm. I mean, would you fire can try, still You can try trick? to use fire. Fire could technically work. I mean, it's fire and bombs. Those match pretty well. Yeah. Um, if you wanna, if you want to, you could ask Obra if she can cast delayed first before you guys go. <sighs> it is a different way to trigger it that you guys weren't ready for, but it could still work. Hmm. I mean, a boar can hear us from basically anywhere, right? <laughs> we just started insulting her. <laughs> I think she has to be actively listening to us. I mean, me. Gorthos. I mean, Gorthos is here. Both of him are here. All three of him are here. This is a very momentary decision, though. So, I, I'm... yeah, it's very on the no on the on the spot. I just uh, need to know if you're taking out Atlanta or if you're not. I'm just trying to see if I have anything in my kit that allows me to get both of the results I want. Um, because I like doing that. <laughs> I like winning. Let me I win. like having everything I want. <laughs> I like my cake. Is that so too. wrong? Um... <clears throat> E hmm. The only thing. Yeah. Dicks. Um. The only thing that's giving me pause is the 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 the, the uh, in your voice whenever I fucking brought up the fire. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I will, I guess, yeah, have her do that. You yell I'll, back to Obra yeah. to cast a fireball. Obra will throw out a delayed blast fireball. We will see if this works. Bloop. As so, um, Deco, can you remind me? Uh, oh, wait, no, never mind. That wouldn't work. Uh, continue. As all of you disappear.
whenever you get to the temple. When do you want Obra to let it go? <sighs> that was the one problem I was worried about. Because mm. it needs to be sufficiently big in order to work, right? Not even that. He has he need, to be he needs to added. Be in the radius. Yeah. He's in well, the radius in of the he's... thing, but he needs to be at the thing is what they wanted. He was the... actively charging us, right? Yes. How so long do you want her to wait? wait? I would say probably... Oh, man. Wait... about... 20-ish seconds. Okay. Mm. Gorthos! Baby... Hello. And by Gorthos, I don't mean Gorthos the Small or Gorthos the Moblin. You mean Gorthos the prequel? Gorthos, in front of you, as you make your way to it, is the Moblin that had defeated your previous body, that had struck blows against the Boulder and Gora, causing them to need to flee. Kartani taking them away. You have no idea where Ivori is. The rest of the hundred heroes, while they were fighting against all of these monsters that had came to this place that you had set things up for, that you have wanted to go against, this creature ruined it all. You have no idea who they are, where they came from. All you know is whenever they were fighting you, they had said, now is the time for you to die for the last time. <laughs> As they're making their way to you. What do you want to do? You were told to get him to the tree. Who knows who they were, though? <laughs> they weren't. They didn't seem like demons. Uh... I mean, one of them might. One of them like, you know what I mean. They, they don't seem like traitors. Uh, <laughs> and there was like, so you know, that's cool. Um, you know, I, I have to like regress back to a girl because it doesn't know anyone. <laughs> uh, I think that's bad space. It's pretty rough. <laughs> uh, he doesn't know what you are who you are but he knows that today your body hangs from the tree have I not already proven I'm stronger than that tree ever will be <laughs> you've proven you're a destroyer and you aren't strong And you've proven that allowing you to continue to reincarnate makes you as annoying as a cockroach. <laughs> oh, there's always gonna be those. Can't kill them all. You have a big enough sword. He is going to rush to you. And too small. Rushes. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can go first. What do you want to do? <laughs> I Hold want off, buddy. I want to I want to take the momentum of his charge, <laughs> roll back, grab him, roll back, and judo flip him into the tree. I love the idea that this Gorthos is a monk. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> He's, got the row. He's got the rows. Gorthos. I would like for you to imagine that for the moment, things are similar to how you do your gifted strength. Anything you do is going to be a plus seven. Ah, fucking damn, let's go. <laughs> go oh, ahead. Boy, this is badass. Go ahead and roll me 
for your, we're going to say finesse with this. Cool. <laughs> That's a stat I'd use. <laughs> oh yeah, you I learned really... it, you learned it uh, like uh, several hundred years ago whenever you were fighting with those, uh, uh, with those priestesses up on the top of the, uh, of um, uh, the mountains, you know? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, fun, fun girls those. Um, <laughs> can I, I want to, we're running low, we're almost out of these, but I want to use you these. Get the, you get these every day. Yeah. But it's, oh, and for you, the yet. day has just started. Wait a second. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, appreci I appreciate the effort. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I knew that wasn't going to work. I was just joking. <laughs> you, got, you can play it before our hustle, brother. <laughs> 16. So that's 16. That's Roll already again. a 16. That's already a 16 that's plus a 14. 30. That is a 34 you just rolled. <laughs> Not 20, uh, plus 7, 14. As yes, you take him in your arms as he goes to attack. You throw him back. As you do, you feel how heavy this creature Ouch. is. You feel mm. the bones, like the smaller bones in your spine and your legs somewhat wrench as you throw this creature. That's when you notice... His armor seems to be made of melted down armors from dark nuts. Uh, oh, interesting. He's got to use that trick. As you throw him back, you will go to rush. I'll give you another turn. He is on Sick. his back hitting the tree. <clears throat> what would you like to do? Um... God, he, I guess he wouldn't know about anything about this kind of stuff here, but, um... um Corthos knows a lot of things. He knows a lot of things. <laughs> I don't know if he knows that disarming doesn't work. Um... He probably tried already. Uh, you, you know what, maybe. He probably did. I'd say in the first fight he tried. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> um, do I got any more of that hellfire? Uh, it was something that Ivori gave you. Uh, you can try to uh, you can try to tap into Ivori's uh, strength, just like as you normally would as someone who has Ivori as a uh, uh, as a uh, as a vassal. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally oh, every class right now. Anyway, <laughs> I'll say I'm everything. I am the Omni class. Cool. Wait, I'm the Omni class. Huh? Roll me uh. for your magic as you call for Ivori's aid. I'm gonna just burn the rest of these guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck it. That's already a pretty solid fucking 15 plus 7. 15 plus 7. As you call out for Ivori, having their give you, uh, give you your, uh, give you strength. What is it? I'm doing something. Yes, yeah. yeah, so well, he's fighting the monster. Where are you? Deku Shrape, what's left? What do you need? He notices the fireball there. He remembers the talk of lightning. Lightning. He needs lightning. It'll take me a moment. A fool. <laughs> He'll give you all the moments you need. You have to get out of there when I do this. He he Gorthos thinks <laughs> and, and flashes. Uh, just a flash. Just a quick recollection of that whole scene of seeing all these weirdos, these all these strangers. He will. He swears to you, he will. You unhinge your jaw once more <laughs> as a flow of hellfire comes out of it. As it happens, we are going to go to its turn. Or is it super bad dice? Oh, there it is, over there, with all you guys. I'm taking it over here now. It's mine. Oh, it's no. Here. How dare you? It is going to attempt to strike you with its blade. Ooh. I'll use one. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Aha! 
I won't use another. <laughs> I was waiting for it. He misses with the first attack. Mm hmm. We'll go for another. Uh, so. What's up? What are you doing? Flurry Rush. He missed. That's true. You can do that. I'm a knight. <laughs> <laughs> you just look at all of our cards. I want to do that. I want to do this. When Flurry <laughs> Rush. Who knows? I might, I might dungeon action or make him my favorite enemy soon. I don't know. You can strike back <laughs> against him when he misses you with an, at with an attack. I'm gonna immediately take your next turn. Each attack made during this turn deals plus one damage. Go for it. You have your turn. Your whole turn. Your whole ass turn. <laughs> he's going to, uh, he's gonna go beyond limits. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna go beyond limits. <laughs> and he's gonna use, he's gonna use Wee Night Blade. <laughs> we all just see the skeleton bulk up as if it's actually made of muscle for a moment. <laughs> oh, I'm not done. Um, I, <laughs> I'm far from done, but I'm gonna try and hit him with this overwhelming force now. Um, I can make him roll finesse for a flanking strike. Oh, he can't be flanked right now. You're not flanking. I don't have Sheikah techniques. That's the only thing I'm lacking. <laughs> no, it's a thief technique. Uh, I don't have, well, uh, hmm. You have every class. Hmm. But at the Can same time, flanking with flanking split? strike, I believe uh, enemy is distracted by an ally or run away from these presence. Yeah, you can't flanking strike right now. Yeah, I figured. No! Yeah. But let's see here. That's a nine plus seven. I doubt <sighs> that hits. Nine plus seven does well. not hit. However, Gorthos, uh, go ahead and mm -hmm. do two more attacks. Oh, I'm sick. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, five. Pick armor. <sighs> And the last one? Oh, oh, that, was, God. that was almost a 20. I'm All three of your it. attacks seem to just go away. However, because you beyond limits, three more attacks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Another, f that's four fives in a row. Jesus. This guy is Stop tough, with the fives. Man. 19. 19. And? So, three. So, on that 19, <laughs> um,. I want to spend hit. extra AP uh, to use a precision strike to crit him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you would have to be on limits again. Okay. Because you have no AP remaining. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be asleep for a thousand years after this. I think that qualifies as a long rest. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and write down one crit. And just so I remember, I'm going to put it in here too. Cool. <laughs> There we go. As you strike into him, you have two more attacks because that's the second Beyond Limits you used. It is the second, the second of two. Um, Just because you have the things don't mean you have them all powered up, unfortunately. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, so let's try and I actually want to, well, he's there and the blast, so this is where the munitions are, right? They're everywhere. Okay, sick. Um, yeah, that's where I the shoes are. Cool. Uh, perfect. I'm gonna just try and punch him for the second one, and the third one I'm gonna try something different. But right, right now, punch. another five. I'm using a different twenty. <laughs> yeah, throw it, throw it in the, throw it in the curse circle. Ah, uh, my face. All right. I. Well, I might just, I might as well try and do it now. Um. What do you want to try? I want to. Go first bring this up. I want to grapple pin him down and get to give Ivory more time like Goku does to Raditz for the special beam kin. Roll me, I wanna, I, roll me physique, which for you would be, would be uh, seven. However, roll me with advantage. Yay. Because I'm guessing you are in high demon state at this point. Oh yeah, I have that too. <laughs> I'm, I'm still technically demon. <laughs> so 12 plus 14. Oh, should I roll a second time? Because I got his token. Yeah, roll again. Or... Roll one more time. Okay, with advantage or no? Just roll one more time. Okay. I'm not used to high demon state. 17. Plus 14. Roll. Ooh. 
you're gonna hate me when I say this. That was close. Oh, that's fucked. <laughs> that's a 15. What do you mean that's close? <laughs> Like I said, you're gonna hate me when I say it, but that was close. He, you do win <laughs> the contest, holy. but that was holy. <laughs> As you tackle him and you begin to hold him down, he will take the rest of his turn now. Yep. He is going to strike you with the blade. He's gonna try to. That's another. Now re-roll it. What? What else am I using this for? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Make me work for it in my backstory game. <laughs> your backstory game. Yeah, it is your backstory game. Yeah, you finally got it. Yeah, it was a long con. <laughs> you find our backstory game. You find him bashing his hilt upon you, trying to get you off, but you are still there. Yep. He is going to stop trying to get you off of him. I don't like that. He is going to strike you with his blade. Okay. As he does, Gorthos, mm -hmm. just like the last time you were hit with this blade, you feel uneasy getting hit by it. As it slashes down your body, it cuts into the bone. But more than that, you feel wrong after it cuts you. You feel like something about you has been severed. <laughs> it's pain beyond what you feel you remember. This blade was bathed in demon's blood for a thousand years. And it will be bathed in its blood for a thousand more. <laughs> oh, you monstrosity. You're going to die here. There will not be another thousand years of this. I may die here. If I do, at least I can say that you died. And happily. It's your move. <laughs> you are He's still holding him down. You're gonna headbutt him, roll me that physique. <laughs> roll me twice. Roll me, roll me double, because yeah. High demon state also I think just doubles your roll. But cool. you you're big you're big oh. old boy. That is that is a hit. That is that is a big hit. That is that is if I said that wasn't a hit, I'm lying to you. <laughs> cool. You have two more attacks? He's gonna head one of again. Roll another one. I have to keep track Ooh. of how many times you hit. That's still it's a, a 13. hit. <laughs> With high demon state, that's still a hit. Cool. <laughs> you have one more AP. Think, think, think. What can, what kind of damage can I actually do to this fucker? You're doing damage. Uh, you feel you're doing damage to him. He is bleeding. I know. <laughs> yeah. I'm As you're headbutting like... him, there is like black oozy blood coming from his horn. The horn. Northos is going to. He's not gonna headbutt the horn. I'm gonna try and bite it off. You I reach wanna up. rip out the horn with my teeth. You try to bite the horn. Go ahead and try. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Nope. And As no you bite it, for me. He cries out. It does seem to hurt him. Despite you feeling like it shouldn't have. <laughs> Stop laughing, you idiot, and move. Here it comes. <laughs> it's his turn one more time. Mm, but is it? What is it though? Because I want to use a dungeon action. Go ahead. You can use an action before he does. 
Cool. Um, before he gets a chance to do anything else to me, I, I really, I, I deeply, deeply wish to know. Mm -hmm. Um, can I? Can I? Can I try and shift positions on this guy? So that his horn acts as the as the doubt the lightning rod for this hell strike. You can definitely attempt to keep holding him. I could say that that is something you can just do anyway. But what are you doing uh, with the dungeon okay. action? We can say that's something you're doing right now. Like you are currently doing that. <laughs> uh, okay, not bad. Uh, no, 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 no. Sure it's not your bad at all. It's, it's, it's a very good flavor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, think, 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 think. I don't have any of my items, so I can't use those, but what can I use? Actions, think, think, think. Um, I can use an action, so that means I think I can use... Uh, I'm just looking over everyone's fucking skill cards, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm considering my options here, and I'm also looking at Gal- I should look at Gallons, too. I'm technically a save. <laughs> hmm. Uh... <laughs> I believe in you. Uh... Uh, as well as the real should able to perform miracles. I want, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to continue okay. if you can't find something. I kind of do. I want to call upon the mortal goddess for aid. <laughs> I want to make sure this fucking thing doesn't get a chance to do any other shenanigan. What are you calling upon? I'd like to call upon the the power of light to bind this monster in place, so that we both die to this hell this hell lightning. Roll me a d twenty. I don't get to use the high demon state bonus, do I? It's just a d twenty. I'm you can't demonically blame praying to the goddess. 15. You feel as you try to call out to them. I'll have you know, you are not a vassal to the mortal goddess. You don't do oh, that. Okay. You don't do that until you until you become your Gorthos. Yeah. As you call out, wishing that you can bind them and have you both fall have you both died to this you hear a sad worried voice why would I ever agree to that because we both love this world Zelda we have to protect it. Want me a charm? I'm gonna be with seven charm. <laughs> and also maybe high demon state. <laughs> Just charm. Yeah, I don't know what type of high demon state actually does. I, <laughs> <laughs> I never actually read the card terribly thoroughly. <laughs> it would be very funny, but... Uh, 15 plus seven. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure... That I should not hide demons that used to be your checks. Mm -hmm. I'll have them roll. You see, as you say that, there is a pause. The air around seems to somewhat slow, uh, seems to somewhat slow as you're speaking with the goddesses, because that's how it always happens. You see light beginning to bind them. 
but you can already tell that their heart is not in it. As they try to bind it, it does bind somewhat, but it appears very shaky. We're going to continue to his turn, and we'll see if that impairs him in any way. <laughs> he already rolled his attack whenever you had used the de- whenever you had used the thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to keep it. Okay. Because it was a 20. Okay. It's fair. As he slashes down onto you with this blade. You feel parts of you dispersing. You feel the magic that was holding you through, that was binding you seemed to almost empty that strange darkness that was in you that you used to eat that everything is there seems to somewhat fall from you same as that dark blood that he seems to have as well he's gonna try to get up however he is being bound he will have disadvantage and he cannot use any demon points on this first roll cannot get higher than a 10. Let's see if that does anything. 10 plus his <laughs> distance. He strains against it, but it does look like the light is somewhat failing. He goes for another attack on you. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That is another crit. Crit, so he has crit range, cool. <laughs> It's just a 19. He doesn't have humongous yeah. ones. Oh yeah, but range is still range. It's still scary. As he strikes into you again, you holding him down. He's gonna try to get up once more. <laughs> we'll have disadvantage. The highest he got is a seven, so I'm guessing it's not happening. <laughs> Sorry, I have to get this. Fine. <clears throat> then may you fall as well. He lifts the blade up. He stabs it down into you. You try to move on <laughs> to another body, Gorthos. <laughs> That was your one big Hail Mary of, I can I can get the fuck out. As you look like you're beginning to shift. No. Not a single person will leave these woods. As darkness starts to emanate out from him, going up into the sky. You attempt to shit, you attempt to shed the skin you're in, the bone you're in. But it does not work. As the sky darkens, this strange malice going all around, this familiar malice, the same that you remember feeling from long ago, but you're not sure when. Then it finally dawns on you who this is. That same power that took you over all those thousands and thousands of years ago the power that link had defeated this feels just like ganon there's that there's that look of like of epiphany on his face as he's just staring at this thing you (sighs) i do not die Neither did you. <laughs> In this life or the next, you will die, Ganon! There will be no next for you, Gorthos! As... He's gonna try and he's gonna tr- just reel back and just try and keep striking. <laughs> As you continually beat him in as he slashes into you, holding the blade into you, stabbing you down. There's a crackle in the sky. And as the crackle goes, 
just before there is a small fiery explosion to the side Gorthos you look over toward the fireball that was there it wasn't huge yeah apparently all that happened in 20 seconds it wasn't huge <laughs> Turns out we combat. I did flurry rush we do flurry rush against each other it's fine but as you see it it explodes it doesn't destroy the munitions what it does do is strike both of you as it does Gorthos the prequel <laughs> you feel it the strength beyond it propel you up you can't go but you do retreat you can't leave this body but you retreat everything that is you into the one part of you that is needed you retreat the entirety of you into your head as the blast of the fireball hits, connects with the two of you, he's binding your body down, your head separates and goes flying. I'm guessing with a bunch of laughter as it happens. <laughs> Fuck with, you! A big, with a big fucking grin. <laughs> laughing in his face as he flies off and away as your head flies off laughing and cackling he goes to finally stand up <laughs> breaking the binds of light but the lightning ahead strikes downwards the munitions around exploding down the pathway of the what is left of the tree the bomb tubes flying in all directions, exploding on impact around the area. And a strange earthquake-like feeling from below <laughs> launching this place downwards, crumbling below. You hear him scream out in pain as the light damage in particular fucks him up. <laughs> oh, yeah. but everything added together does a humongous amount how much you ask well we look over here and we see all of these bombs go off 18 19 14 11 17 14 we see this amount of fire damage go off 55 we see this amount of light damage go off 91 oh huh from far off the entire area seems to collapse dust flying high into the air and from those of you over here you see the explosion happen as a large amount of lightning cascades down from the sky. You now know why Ivory struck that place with lightning. <laughs> as we did it. We saved the timeline. We made sure that Gorthos continued to exist also. <laughs> As you guys watch your victory, <clears throat> the explosion happens, everything goes down. You don't hear anything, any battle off in that direction. The sky still somewhat red and got darker but as soon as the lightning happens you guys see falling downwards just off to the east of the temple 
what you guys can only assume coming out from the expanse to be Matilda. <laughs> just flying out of the expanse, just plopping down. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a little bit of ways from where you guys are you guys go making your way over this was what you came here for you guys immediately go and go to get her looking <sighs> at where she lands she went she lands softly onto the ground Odd. Must be princess magic. Who knows? Just hit some trees on the way down. <laughs> that, that, that does that does shit in, in real life, definitely. <laughs> I don't actually know where she. There she is. She's on the she's on the map. I think. No, she's not on the map. Where'd you go, bitch? <laughs> I think we moved. Did we move all of them together at some point to be to have I'm all so of their faces together. Maybe. Yeah, we did do that. So if we find one, we should find all of them. Yeah, find one. <laughs> oh wait no i think i put her back did i put her back here i did put her back here she's back here all right you guys see what appears to be matilda landing onto the ground as you go to get her your time here has ended each of you looking to each other, not hearing any more of that battle happening. Who's grabbing Matilda? I can Ronan will do it. Ronan, you go to grab Matilda. What? Well, that's too tiny. She seems to still be out of it. You guys know that from her perspective, she just got hit with that weird memory altering spell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that still needs to get taken care of at some point, but she's there. She's mm -hmm. good. And the sooner you could get her, which is, this is the absolute soonest you could, the better it would be for her whenever you return and try to get her fixed. Mm -hmm. You guys don't want to stay here any longer than you have to. Mm -hmm. You guys look off. Gorthos, you know the correct way to go back. Mm -hmm. You guys head off into the forest? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Quickly now. You guys can talk about what just happened in a moment. As you guys move <laughs> off into the forest, you guys try to get your way out, heading in the direction Gorthos wants you to go in. You just go beyond the trees you were just at. Mm-hmm. You don't shift. The forest doesn't shift around you. Uh, that's the point. That's the point where it should have done the whole warbly woo thing, and then we disappear, right? And then we show up somewhere else. Vorthos pulls out the sword. This is concerning. You guys look around. Gorthos, you look to the sky as you get a memory. You remember as you see this very inky black sky above you. You hear in your minds a creature yelling, no one will leave this forest. You remember what just happened. Uh, as you do you guys hear trees being knocked over and then Corthos <laughs> right you guys hear from the southeast a 
a demonic voice calling out. We need to go. Ganon's curse. Yes. Where? Where? Where do we go? No one will leave this forest. Oh, no, we're gonna. As you guys start to make your way away, <laughs> the fight seemingly still on. As this creature stumbles through the forest, bleeding profusely, but doesn't look like it's having any trouble standing or walking or taunting. <laughs> While it's heard, it doesn't seem to be impaired in any way. As it continues in the direction where you're going, I think we're going to end things there for the night. As you guys <sighs> need to find some way, not only out of the forest now, but back to your time, which is a little bit too far for a single song of time. A single song. <laughs> we'll just we'll just play it like a thousand times. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, y'all y'all got y'all got a few. And then I'll come back. Like and then I'll come weeks. back for the other half of you. And then you you know it's just like you know. <laughs> Listen, Z like, and there are, there are three there are three people that can do the thing, so it'll just go three times as fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it'll definitely work. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> oh, so just to clarify, I remember the whole fight then. You remember <laughs> around most of the fight, yeah. We'll say. Okay. Yeah, we'll say that you you, you remember everything that Gorthos the prequel had ju had just gone through. <laughs> yeah. You so brother just gets hit gets slapped with that re that recollection of Oh fuck! <laughs> you know, you I, also have, all that. I also need to point out that I also renamed Ganon question mark question mark question mark, and nobody appreciated it. Oh, what I did you do? Like, the well, shitty I, remake. <laughs> well, I'd like to I'd like to bring up that. Uh, I guess we now know why Gorthos is on their last life. Yeah. That bitch cut it out of me. <laughs> He stole my one-ups. <laughs> Let him oh, break that sword over his fucking ass. How it's equipped to him per permanently. I'll permanently shove it up his ass. <laughs> I mean, it's a curse. Hold up. Am I cur- Did he curse me? Is that what this is? No, he cut something out of you. I'm gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> <laughs> he severed something from you is what he did. You severed Wait. something. I love that. that Wait, is I that? Love... Wait, am I not a de Am I actually not a demon anymore? <laughs> That's why you lost your demon self. So. <laughs> he literally <laughs> direct de demoned me. <laughs> <laughs> undemons your fuck you. Undemons your demon. <laughs> sorry, oh, sorry, Emerald. Wait, no, that I... means I don't have a vice. I'm just obsessive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but sometimes you don't sometimes you can't blame it on genetics. It's just you're just really into it. I like you a lot. Leave me alone. <laughs> For the longest time, we thought Gorthos was on his last life was was because, you know, it was like he's just been around for so long. And he's not the hero or the demon or the goddess. No, this thing so just has like, an immortal just that... this thing just has an immortal slaying blade. Yeah. <laughs> That's the issue that happened. And here. it's trying to kill Link. <laughs> uh, well, he'll have to go through me first. <laughs> Who he thinks is Marco? <laughs> oh my fucking god! Yeah, that's what I've done to myself. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah, the fucking that's the funny joke. Um, why well, give him that? I, he just has it. He just treat. has it. It's a a treat, thousand you know? years of quen of quenching and demon blood. A thousand. How the fuck am I supposed to counteract that? <laughs> Listen, it, he, I've heard the word curse. I know what I'm doing. I know my wind gone. There's a thousand years quenching in demon blood and then a thousand year old demon blood. It's the same thing. <laughs> One is just different, different levels of concentration. 
One having... is time, oh, one is no. time. I'm gonna slurp that curse so Lannis hard. and Foss just said, well, having skipped about 123 sessions of Zelda RP, I'm now highly interested. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the What session is today? This is 124. I got you. Okay, gotcha. So you haven't seen any of them. <laughs> oh, we dear. also have uh, like three backstory games for each player. It's true. Technically, it's 127. <laughs> Plus, technically, this is my backstory game. It's true. It's... I still don't know how I ended up in the box, but I know at least why I'm all... I was only ahead. It's fine. The crater, it, like, it led down to the temple. I, you just, you just kind of <laughs> rolled down and you fell rolled, into a pit. You just rolled down and got into just, a box. Yeah. He yeah, laughs and going, he just hit himself. He just laughs and ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> you just he just to roll himself into the box. It's just like, I'm really going to kill you, and then you fly off. I lived, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Gavin. <laughs> Hang on, I need to bring if it you over could here. flip him Bye, off, you would be flipping him off. I didn't break my promise. <laughs> where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There it is. And that. Oh man, <sighs> very funny, very good. We are gonna end the recording right now. Uh, we can still talk about stuff in this in, in a second if we want to, but uh, we're gonna end oh. the recording here. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing uh, pre Gorthos. It was that was fucking hype as fuck. I love that <laughs> so much. There we go. I've done the thing. What does an Omni class Gorthos look like, Pat? <laughs> and he's still kind of only barely made it. <laughs> Imagine how strong the other body was in. He was in was. Yeah, this, this, is, like, is, also his, I this like, is his second. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look I like, like him at all. I, 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 it's fun to try to do the math of how he ends up from this to where he, we found him because when we found him he still had a full body it just crumbled immediately mm -hmm. he was also so, like, surrounded by a bunch of bones that seemed to be trying yeah, to get so inside it's, the box Im imagining him just like piecing himself together as a head <laughs> is really funny to me to be honest though that's kind of what the stall possession lets me do <laughs> we haven't had a chance because we've not been surrounded by bones but I technically could just make animate bones and attach them to myself yeah, they were just, they just were shitty and didn't really connect. Gorthos, how do we make you General Grievous with poor swords? <laughs> uh, he needs a lot of bones. That would be awesome. <laughs> he All needs right. several bones. We're going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoy. Till next time, guys. Like always. <gasps> Later, days. Bye-bye. Holy Bye -bye. fuck. <laughs>